flask of food. <laughs> I love how it's a flask. Oh, yeah, I can see how much that weighs again. Two <laughs> gallons of holy water. No. Two 55 gallon drums of holy water. Like the Iden Sun Catcher holy water. <laughs> so, like, we're joking, but that sounds like what the church and Tight Moon would do to kill vampires. Like, they do <laughs> stupid stuff. You don't understand. I've already got that prepared. I mean, I'm not going to kill him, you know, because that's not in his ways. But my joke, my go to is the marinated steak. And I will die by this joke. I'm, I'm screaming. We need to see. Hang on. I did. I did say I was gonna roll about that question you asked earlier. Hang on. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the kind of thing I have to decide with an actual die. What was the question? Duh. I know it was I'll tell you. Have. I'll tell you. I remember it being like, do you, would Annis have this? Yes, Annis absolutely does have a super soaker. Yes, <laughs> that's what it was. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Is it back so, at the hideout? So you're gonna go Lost Boys with this? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Actually, to be told, um, hmm. I, I lost it because they introduced me to the BuzzFeed uh, Unsolved stuff. And one of the characters, he just started, like, unhooking his pants. The one guy's like, what are you doing? And instantly, I could feel it in my soul because he was just, like, superstitious. And I just look over and it's like, is that a super soaker full of holy water? Is that what he's attaching to himself? And it was. And I was like, that's it. This, this is the moment. I know how I'm, I'm rolling through this holy grail war. <laughs> <laughs> you will be absolutely prepared for a very narrow circumstance. I'm ready to deal with Johnny's patron. <laughs> Fucking super soakers full of holy water. This this dude ain't gonna know what's coming. I'm gonna bust into that boat and like it's gonna be like an action movie with like explosions going off in the background of like the water scenery. And I'll just be like, it's time. How are you getting on a boat? I'm a goddamn magical horse. I'll do what I want. So I'll just stick, stick to the side of the boat. What, what's going to happen is I'm going to sing the Lonely Island theme song. Hasn't <laughs> been invented yet. Shit, right. I will become the creator of the only one. Of the one no. Uh, I am going to say yes, there is a super soaker at the hideout. Yes. The siblings Fair probably enough. also have some at the at the house. Oh my god, you're right. The twins. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you're right. All right, I'm going to... Uh. So this has been a fun two minutes and 40 seconds. Um, yeah, that's really I'm like, when did say, you start? Can, can you imagine you the face screaming? I'm making? Because I bet it's the same face that you're making right now. I'm sure it's the face that's on that little image. It's been a little bit. <laughs> good times. But yeah. Yeah, good times. So does everyone remember exactly what was going on two weeks ago? Um, Vaguely. I remember, according to my notes... Uh, we got to know Montgomery, Montgomery. Roberts and um, uh, the Goliaths went home and Vivi left and Quaku yeah, and I'm gonna take the her off the map now because she's not here anymore. Um, oh yeah, like Vivi leaving was like the last thing. Yeah, yeah I we, think so. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, and then we had the like bench pressing thing yeah. where we all tried to bench press Montgomery and it didn't work because he was cheating. Question Is my HP like, is this supposed to be back to like zeroed out or is that do I still have the two damage? Um, you hurt yourself because you tried to drink hot coffee, if I recall correctly. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that's yeah. new damage. Yeah. <laughs> Don't sound so excited. <laughs> Give me something to heal later. No. <laughs> I mean, it's an option. Yeah. If you're going for that achievement of heal a thousand times, you got to take the damage where you get it. Exactly. What? You got to wrap it up somewhere so I can practice my own self healing. <sighs> I just accidentally hurt myself. Mm -hmm. There are strategies that. for that. Yeah. That's <laughs> how Final Fantasy Tactics leveling works. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm done. That's how it is in Rune Factory, also. Oh my god, you're right. It's actually the only way to level up in um what was it called? It was like the Final Fantasy Tactics clone that came out on the PlayStation, uh Hoshigami. Because uh the amount of XP you got was directly dependent on the level of the person you're hitting and yourself like the difference between them and all the NPCs you fight are lower level after you grind even a little bit. 
So the only way to level up is to have your party stand in a row and beat the crap out of each other while one enemy cowers in the corner, terrified. Just strengthening your, your party bonds, you know? Uh, JRPGs be dumb sometimes. But anyway, we're not playing a JRPG. We're playing something no. based on a J novel. Yeah! yeah. J light novel. Slash. Well, actually, this is just straight visual novel if we go far enough back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't go too far back though. Fake gets weird. <laughs> so yeah, we're here though. Uh, we're picking yep. up where we left off. Uh, you had breakfast. You came here. You looked at some uh, postings on the board. You talked around a little bit. You met Montgomery. Good times. You've got a little bit of time before um, Grandpa gets back with all of the. Um, stolen elves i guess yeah. um and presumably they'll need a little bit of time to settle in so as far as you're aware they're not going to be starting the um the druid meetup for a little bit yet uh the time at present is still morning it's later than 6 a.m let's update that <laughs> we're gonna say that it is now 9 a.m what no what that's three hours. We did not walk and talk for three hours. You woke up, and then you had breakfast, and then you came here, and then you bench pressed. Like eight, eight o'clock at the latest. Nine. Stop. You're going to have no, time. I need the time. Oh, my God. I, I woke up at six for a reason. Huh. You woke up at six for harassing people that you think have somehow not hit eight hours of rest yet yeah I went to <laughs> they went to sleep before you <laughs> um well <sighs> anyway yes penelope uh the thing that you did occurred um yay hence the chat thing that no one can read because merlin does not know uh halfling heck yeah Sweet. So what would you li like to do next? Annis is just gonna lean, is Beach like sitting, standing? Uh, he's on a stool. It's just they don't line up well on the map. See, there he is. He's got a stool. Right. Montgomery Annis is not between two stools. This is just how the spacing works. We, yeah, I remember He's technically here, to... but it creates an implication if I leave him there, so he's not. Well, yeah, I, I remember trying to sit on the stool next to Scraggly yeah. and having to sit on Kwaku. Um, so she's just, Ennis is just going to lean over to Beach and whisper, but I'm not going to whisper um, because that's not good audio. Yeah, stage whisper. So, Montgomery from America. Yep. Want to wanna elaborate on that or let me nope. draw my own conclusions? He is a paladin from America. He is here to help us with our training. Why, do you want his number? No, Don't you I'm, already have an American? I do, and I'm good. <laughs> Just wondering if we have a little more in common than I thought we did. I'm going to come over here. Gonna open Annis's character sheet. <laughs> I'm gonna make a roll for Annis. A note is slipping into your pocket. Yes. The answer is yes. Uh, can I click that to reveal it? There's got to be a way to do that. There has to be. Anyway, you rolled a 19, so... Um, of course. As you do. Uh, you can see a slight smirk as you say that and walk away. <laughs> is it... Oh, is it or am I? Yeah, who did smirk? Was it Beach? It was Beach, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, spicy before i do this 
I don't remember if I asked it last time. Did I ask Beach where the other paladins that are under his boss lady? Uh, yeah, he said that they were uh, resting right now because they were up all night. Okay, cool. Yeah. Put for the sound? No. Forget They'll that. be at the meeting, though. Which, okay. as non-druids, might stand out to you. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, that's us other non-druids just being like, hey yo. <laughs> All right, well, I don't... Does anybody come at... What a... blah, 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 blah. Words. Words are hard. Aren't you a bod? You know what? <laughs> Fight me, Ennis. <gasps> um, oh, no. Anyway, I'm going to go into town... So I can go and see if the Enchanter finished my stuff yet. Oh. Anybody want to come with? No, sure. I'll tag along. Yeah. I've got I... some questions I want to ask him anyway. Yeah. Oh. And then, and, um, just kind of wanted to poke around before, before we have to get too involved with the stuff with the meeting and all the craziness. Cause I have a feeling that, you know, once that starts, Things are gonna get bonkers. Uh, yeah. You can give everyone a grand tour. That'd be nice. And who knows, maybe we'll run into Nora. Right, yeah. I do need to look for Nora. I say, um, I could probably catch up with you. I know that I needed to, you know, catch uh, Soren here first and just check in with him after. Hopefully, figuring out if there are any more of those uh, beholders that you marked and went searching for. Ah. And then I can meet up with you potentially after that. There's one more thing I wanted to ask him about. Um, but it shouldn't take long at all. Okay. Um. I guess that. Wait, where did Derek go? He's still asleep. Oh, you're Presumably. Right. Sure oh, that's is. right. Presumably. Oh, I forgot about that. I um, kind of just left him with some breakfast yeah. and a note saying where <laughs> we were going. Johnny, do you want to come with us? Uh, sure. Yay! Okay. Um, I, I kind of missed out on the village before on account of being a rock. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this time you get to see it. Look yeah. forward so to yay! It. Okay, I'm going right. to start dragging people to the other map, but since we're still on this one, we'll let Aiden do his part first. Hey, all right, so I guess I'll walk up to this lady and be like, hello again. Um, can you point me in the direction of Soren by chance? Oh, yeah, sure. He's out in the stables, no doubt. He spends a lot of time there. Oh, a man of culture, I see. <laughs> all righty. Do, 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 oh do, do. How do I get out of here? Oh god, I don't know how to There are no it. walls you can just drag down. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll just walk off the side like I always do. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'd considered putting in walls for line of sight, and then I realized this map is absurd, so I didn't. Yeah, I mean, we're on a top floor that goes to the balcony. I walk on everything. I will not. I'm trying to determine what the incline on this map is annoyed me enough that I gave up on putting walls on it. Oh, jeez. Because if you look at it, they're obviously based on hills and ramps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and balconies and doors, and it's just very confusing with the trees. So I gave up. Okay. So he's, he's going over here. Do, do, do. I'm looking around for him. All right. Um... But first, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say hello to these horses. <laughs> okay. I'll give, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give them all a good pat because they deserve nothing but the best. Yeah. As a very poor spirit, so handle animal. Yeah. Hey, don't fail me now. Let me pet all the horsies. This horse 21. is is down for the oh. grooming. Fuck yeah! I'm I'm just like going across each of these and like ah oh, yes, give them all the like little precious snoot rubs. I do a tail. Oh wait, my tail is all fucking wrapped up. Shit. 
I keep that shit doing. Oh, I can't do a flip. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to the next one. Back. And eventually. Oh no, is this where his horse stayed? Uh, that would make sense. Oh no. It's the only one without a horse. <laughs> oh no. I'm heartbroken now. This man loved his horse. And that's like. That's like green flags. A lot of green flags. Oh my god. Especially to a centaur. He just kind of peeks in. He's like. Oh, oh shit. I did not mean to drag myself. That. Like, hey. Are you okay in there? Oh, uh, hello there. Um, yes, I'm. I'm doing fine. I'm just. Well, you know, sometimes you go to places that you have fond memories when you're feeling a bit low. Uh, oh. We did not find any more of those spores, so thankfully it seems you found the lot of them. Okay, that is actually what I came over here to ask about. Um, do you mind if I come in? No, no, by all means. He steps a bit to the side to let you in, because oh, you all you. big, contrary to your token size. It's true. I am I am a big pussy boy. Just kind of gets a look around and see how like well taken care of it is. And... It's very well taken care of. You can see yeah. that um, the <laughs> while there's no horse here now, um, it does look like the, the hay has been swapped out. Uh, the, the walls have been well maintained um there's no like like this looks like it's move in ready for a new horse um, <laughs> oh no sorry i shouldn't be laughing <laughs> it's okay um, <laughs> so i'm sure you've seen like the bounty board in there but i was curious if i could have like your help maybe i just wanted to know where this uh this one what oh god the name of the dude on there shit there's no history of the text anymore the bounties oh yeah because it was in the chat you yeah. mean his post the no not soren's oh okay uh which one the one i just post all three if you want yeah yeah, yeah. yeah Is it the like... big insects or the stench uh there you go there's all three the freaky bug uh aranus aranus vine grafter uh aranus yeah Aranus. okay yeah um i was wondering if you would like to uh show me where aranus is located i think if there's anything if, if there's really just a bug out there you know maybe take a look around see maybe where it burrowed and, and you might know more because you're a ranger um I just wanted to peek in on that before, you know, the whole meeting and everything. Had a little of time. At least get that set up and prepped. Let the guy know he's probably not crazy. Um, and, uh, you know, I was thinking, maybe, maybe, you know, let's get you out of here for a little bit. Get you some fresh air that's not inside with all the hay. Oh, um, uh, I, I appreciate your concern, but um, I'm, I'm afraid of... Uh... Master Vinegrafter was among those in the inn who disappeared. Oh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well then, that'll do it. Would you like to at least accompany me to look at the hole while we, you know, wait for his return? The the hole from the um, the autumn willows? Uh, no, Post said that something scared her by and dug into the ground. I figured if you're well versed in animals, you might be able to give a little more information on it, depending on you know the tracks and the size of the hole. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're you're wondering about um, what could do that. Yeah. Uh, well, no based on his description. I'd say that it's apparently a very large insect, far larger than anything we have here. Um, so you think it's from the other side? My guess would be that most of the things on that board are from the other side. Mm. Uh, anything that seems more normal, we would have taken care of on our own. Gotcha. 
a giant bug thing, I believe, as he put it, would probably be from the other side. We don't have a lot of extremely large insects here. Give or take, apparently, a drider. Where... I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back a piece for you. Like, we're, we're going to properly bury your friend. That would be most kind of you. It's the least, the least we could do. Yeah, if you could help um, Mele pull Archon to rest, I would appreciate that in any way that you could. Absolutely. Just well, be careful, the riders are very dangerous. Nina's really, you know, drove that one in. Well, maybe, maybe, like, a good talk would be nice. I mean, if they want to go back, that's fine. I just don't know if horse is their diet, because if that's the case, I, I can't shame somebody for eating, um, but seeing as I'm also half horse, a, a slight problem. I'm not necessarily sure that her goal is necessarily to eat it. It depends. Uh, my understanding of Dryders is somewhat limited, but if she's eating it, then that's horrible, and I, you know, that's a terrible fate, but if she is, in fact, a spell-casting Dryder, then it could be worse. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. That's, that's the plan. Just be careful if you do. Little they are dangerous. Deep. Um, well, I mean, I guess if you need anything... Uh, I'm staying with Annis currently. Um, uh, so yeah. The Greenleaf household? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be here seeing to my duties. Um, but sure, if anything comes up that seems like it would uh, oh. be of interest to you, I'll be sure to get someone to pass it along. Thank you. Actually, really quick question. Um, yeah. So, do you happen to know the names of, like, the five total leaders out of character? I can't... Is it Margaret? For the, yeah. Okay, so not Margaret. Do you know the name of the other four leaders? There's... Well, I mean, they're not scribes. Scribes the leader of the Do-Nothing Club, isn't he? You mean the, the different factions? Yeah. I will let him roll and see how much he's been paying attention to the politics of late. I mean, to be fair, he is very sad about a horse. But I figured I'd just ask just in case, because I need their names. <laughs> oh, well, let's see. Actually, didn't sure, roll too like, badly here. I figured get his mind off of something. Let him think about politics for, for a minute. <laughs> there you go. The, the time-honored way of getting away from your problems. <laughs> we, know, we know Guidance Party is Veronce. Oh, shit. I barely know their names. Well, he can describe them to me, too, at least. Right, well, the, it sounds like you've met Scribe already. Um, uh, yeah, I don't like him, I'm gonna be honest with you. He's, <laughs> he's not exceptionally popular. I um, kicked down his part. Right, and you met, um, which ones do you know that might make this easier? Um, I met Miss Margaret. Okay, yeah, she's, um, she's the migrating group. It's, it's like her and Nina are just like roommates or are they like roommates <laughs> I'm not sure what you're implying like wink like they live together but is it like just cause like the, the housing costs are really expensive I, here I'm fairly confident they don't live together Margaret said she lived here which one of them is lying That'll be something you can figure out later. I, I will. Yeah. Thank you, Soren. Thank you. I just have met um, Miss Margaret. I have met Scribe. And I don't know the rest of them. Right. Well, there's the... um. There's that... I think they call themselves the Unification Party. Um, is, that, is that the same as the Idealists? Uh, I suppose that would makes sense um they're, they're probably the most optimistic of the lot they're the ones who there we go. who seem to think that there's just a way that everyone can come together and make things work 
I mean, like, do you not believe in that? I've seldom spent time in the presence of a mage or a member of the church who hasn't found some way to remind me that we will not get along long term. So no, I, I think it's very optimistic. Uh, but it, its leader is um, uh, Felicius. Is that with an F or a PH? That is a uh, It's with an F. Okay, that's how I spelled it. F E L I C I U S. That's how I spelled it. Go me. Well done. Like Fergalicious. Yes. Great. Now I'm going to forget his name and call him Fergalicious to his face. Thanks. <laughs> well done. I'm not there, so. It's good. Fergalicious. I'm going to remember this. All right. Felicious. Just, just, just make the truth. Unification. Silence you. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Both okay, of you are part of the work, so I put ideal it and Felicio. A Felicio. All right. That's, that's, unification. that's not a good name. <laughs> I can't. No, no, it's my not. It doesn't work. <laughs> just use the dollar sign. Oh, you're uh, right. right. Are, are you okay? Uh, Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this no. Is how my BJ name's going on right now. I've already oh. violated the, uh... The Don't Be oh. Nasty Accords? Oh, the dollar sign. <laughs> yep. Okay, so that leaves... That like, leaves. I literally just got that message earlier. Um, e and I dollar sign. <laughs> right, then the, um... Then there's the group that probably has the best chance of success uh, that would be the they call themselves the guidance party but if, if being honest I think they're really just the let's let's just take over the world party <laughs> oh yeah that that's a problem actually um, well, who's in charge of that one <laughs> uh, Maranth is in charge of that one like M A R A N T H or like O U M I R A N T H E. That's not what I wrote. M A R Swipe. M I R E. M I R A N T H E. Oh, okay. We're gonna take over the world club. Cool. Okay, that's good to know. Um, yeah, that she's the um. She's the Eladrin, if you've seen her around uh, the village. Oh. We don't see a lot of I those. Don't think I have. Do not think of a scribe. One, two, three, four. So we're just missing Revelation Party. Yeah, there is one more. Oh, right. The, the Revelation Party. They're the ones who just don't see much value in secrecy anymore. That's pretty ridiculous. But, um,. Yeah, they're they're run by the um, the that ASMR fellow, I think. Uh, Nathaniel. Surprise party, unsurprise. Okay. Okay, that is that is excellent to work with, Soren. You are amazing. That's, so... It's no trouble. I don't really do much with politics, but it's important to know which people are most likely to stir up a crowd. Yeah. It, and... I know you're not shocked, but it, I dare say Scribe is the one least likely to stir up a crowd. Mm, yeah, after last night. Yeah. We, we certainly didn't see him out helping. Oh, he was drinking tea. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That sounds about right, actually. I was very mad at him. In, in my experience, you can count on him to show up later and tell you how things went. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But um, uh, I'm gonna go see if I can at least scout out 
you know, ahead of time and go meet up with everyone else. Um, see if I can figure out more about this bug. But yeah, if you need me, let me know. I mind here. I'm not going anywhere. So I'll, right, I'll keep that in mind. Up. And again, be be very careful if you do go after any of these things. They're not oh, yeah. from here, and they're quite dangerous. That's fair. I mean, maybe the bug's nice. Just gotta have to talk to it. I've, I've not met a, nu a number of bugs who seem to be incredibly intelligent, so don't be too surprised if your diplomacy falls on deaf mandibles. Well, I do know one person that's really into bugs. I might go ask her stuff later. Oh, to yourself. Yeah. You have a good one. And you just, like, pats him on his shoulders. And he's like, take a breather. Get some air. Maybe some cider. See you at the meeting later. Uh, thanks. I'll, I'll do what I can. Uh, I appreciate your concern. It's been a bit... Yeah. It's been a bit hectic here lately, and there hasn't really been a lot of time for reflection. I'll keep you updated. And he just pops out, and he's gonna go meet up with everyone else. Oof. Okay, so while you do that, we're gonna jump over to the other map, because they went yeah. ahead without you. That's right. Whee! Who likes a giant map? Ah. Oh, I don't know that one. Oh, no. <laughs> you be quiet, robot. That didn't remotely sound like your name. The blights are still there. Oh, are they? Oh, this the is giant. the old version of the map. Okay, there's probably all kinds of funny stuff here. Hold on. Yeah. I want to say it's really dark for me. It, it, it's, well, yeah. You're, you're not there. there but it's, there. it's also it appears to be nighttime in this map, so that's probably Yeah, it's right. still got a few filters on it. Hold on. Let me fix some of that. We're just, uh, we're going to hide the carnage from you. <laughs> okay. yeah, there's like a whole pile of blights up here. One second. Okay, I took their uh, their little insides already. When you put it that way. So I can regrow them later. Uh. <laughs> Not right now, though. No, they've got to go through a lot of rigorous uh, domestication. Congratulations, you are now Irvine Go F. No, I just run a daycare center. <laughs> For plants. Mm. And there's a little <laughs> Yes, you beat me to it. I'm done. You're both fired. Druid jokes. Hey. Wait, oh. so I can select multiple tokens, but I can't delete multiple tokens when they're selected? Oh, that's dumb. Hmm. <laughs> What does so selecting multiple is really just used for moving? Oh. Like I could wipe all the tokens, but then I have to rebuild a village, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> Don't mind these ghost plants. Whee. You having fun running around looking in all the houses? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm definitely not running around and snooping. You're such a video game protagonist. <laughs> You're breaking into people's houses. What's in your trash can? <laughs> a great ball, once. And then you'll check every trash can for the next 20 years. <laughs> My favorite game for that was Earthbound. <laughs> because in Earthbound, every single door on every house you can walk up and knock on. Oh my god. And one time when you do it, someone on the other side of the door gives you something. Oh my god. Every other time, you walk up and knock on it, and you get some kind of pun response. That's beautiful. Earthbound's an amazing game. I recommend it to everyone who hasn't played it. There's Excellent. a reason it's a cult classic. It's on the, uh, on the Switch. Huh. On, um, online. They huh. did a collection of them for Switch, yeah. Yeah. But didn't put out, but no Mother 3, of course. No, we're never getting that. Nope. I kind of get it. I played Mother 3. I kind of get it. 
but yeah, here we are. Please ignore Merlin, okay. as is always the case. Yep. Okay, um, I think the enchanter was this way. Oh, nope, I'm stuck. There we go. Yeah, I think it was this way. Uh... Everyone overtakes Penelope in walking. <laughs> I'm trying. With the halfling legs. My tiny legs. Oh. Yep, there it is, there it is. Hooray. Knocks on the door. The door is open. She walks in. Hello. All right, let me get the map caught up. Uh, do I have to drag Merlin into every room? Hold on, let me turn on party vision. Party vision. I'm never gonna, not going to make that joke. So when I turn on party vision, Merlin can see your tokens, but not inside the room. So Merlin so is going to follow you around like a weirdo. Oh, no, oh, he still can't see in the room. This is dumb. Come on, Merlin. He's in the room and he can't see. There it is. I have to click on Merlin on that screen to let him see in the rooms, which is stupid, but whatever. Now I know that. Now we're fine. Ugh. All right. You are back into the blacksmith shop. Yeah. Now to pull up the blacksmith shop notes. Sorry, blacksmith. No, the mystic codesmith. It's Laosian. You like stop nerd? No. She's not gonna say stop nerd. Hello, how are you? Welcome to the shop. Hi. Oh, you're back. Um, did that? Yeah. Did that iron bar do what you needed? Yeah, um, I was actually wondering if I could hold on to it for a little while. Do you have other um, needs involving uh, portals and fairies and stuff? Yeah. Then that's a valid use of it. Okay. No cool. problem. Um, and she just slides a gold across the counter. No, thank you. I don't Can know I if I'm going to be returning it, so... <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, as long as, as long as you're putting it to good use, it's what the metal is here for. Yay. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, what? How's the other thing going? <clears throat> oh, our crafting project? Yeah. Well, it's going pretty well, but um, it's not quite ready yet. Um, oh. Could you drop by this evening? Um, maybe. And it's what time is the thing today? I mean, it's supposed to be this morning, but now oh. it'll be whenever Grandpa gets back with the oh. people from Germany, I guess. Um, I mean, I guess I can come back this evening. I'm not sure when we have a thing at some point today, but. What'd you get? Says Johnny. Um, I, so I got the, you know, the, the bowl and the little bottle that I had that it had for, for the water. Right. I got it enchanted. Really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's going to be sparkly. What kind of sparkly? Like a little bit of sparkly or like 1970s? Like the water is going to be basically be pure glitter. That's amazing. Yeah. I thought it would be pretty cool. That does sound exciting. Um, Wait, does that mean that... Um... Oh, that's going to be really pretty. Okay, I get it now. Yeah! I'm so glad you get it, because uh, I was just like, this is going to be really goofy, but also I'm here for it. I think, no, no that's wait. Fine. And wait, I, was it, did I ask you or did, or talking to Laosian again, did I ask you or did I ask the other friend of mine that I had with me to do the thing with the infinite water? Did you bring someone else with you when you came there? 
no, no, no. It was um, oh, it was is the same bottle. Oh right. Um, now I'm trying to remember. Oh, that was like a month ago. God, yeah. Uh... You're asking what else we want done with our water? Well, no, I couldn't. I couldn't remember if I had asked this guy to do the thing with it, basically just having the endless supply of water. Yeah. Or wait, maybe I asked Kwaku about the glitter. No, you asked him about never-ending water and glitter, and then Kwaku said he could make it rainbow. Yep. That's right, that's right. That that tracks. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, okay. So you did ask this guy for um, the never-ending water and the glitter. Yes. Yeah. That is what I remembered, and now I'm now I'm second-guessing it. <laughs> um, no, that's odd same. I'm but that sounds right. Add that to the list here, just so I don't forget again. I'm just like, shit, I know I asked for both of those things, but I don't remember if I asked for both of those things of yeah. the same person. Ugh. Okay, I have now differentiated it and the thing that he is doing. It's important because they're separate effects. So I have to yeah. he has to roll for each of them, and he gets a roll every eight hours. So that's oh, why he isn't ready yet. Because <laughs> he's got, got one it. of the effects. He's got to do the other one. Uh. But yeah, yeah. I've, got, I've got some good progress on it. Do you want to see how it's going so far? <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah, he, um, he pulls out uh, the... Because you left it here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he pulls it out, and um, so right now I've got it doing this thing, and so he pours some water into it, swashes it around a bit, and you can see in it that every time the water touches the edge of the inside of the container, it, sw it like swishes back as glitter, so the longer he does it, the more it turns into like a little um, whirlpool of glitter, like when people are learning how tornadoes work with Coke bottles. Like, it just sort of turns into that and then it settles into a thing that's pretty much full of it looks like glitter in there and then he pours it back in the original glass and when he does you can see that it still flows like water it's just very sparkly Ooh. pretty sure you could drink it I haven't quite tried that yet I'm just going to get my nephew to try it but <laughs> he'll drink oh my God, can I try it? if you want it's yours yeah I'm going to try it okay um it somehow just tastes like normal water to you. I was so preparing to make like a constitution no. <laughs> nope. I'm just like, all right, I brought less of restoration today. Let's go. <laughs> Me too. No, you're good. Um, it, it went through just fine. Uh, later, we will get to roll to see what happens. Oh, no. When it returns. Oh, no. I don't like that. <laughs> um, well... I don't appear to be dying, so... That's a good sign. Yeah? Yeah. No, I'm having one of my um, cleric friends drop by to do the actual enchanting for the water part. Like, I can do part of it, but it's Ooh. a bit easier to have a friend help out. Yeah. Well, that's cool. But it, it shouldn't be too long. Let's see. What, what time is it now? Uh, he looks to a grandfather clock that's on in the corner, and he sees that it's around nine. Uh. Yeah, come back maybe uh, around, let's see, I think my friend's coming over about 10, so if you come by around noon, it should be fine. Okay. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. We can we can certainly find something to do until then. Have you been having fun with that cloak? So I ended up giving it to a friend, and he hasn't taken it off since. Although I think he's still asleep right now. So he's probably not having fun with it right now. Billow and took Maybe. a lot out of him. It's true. Oh no, why are you rolling? Why are you rolling? <clears throat> I had fun with it. Annis, what did you... Did you... I rolled a one. Annis! Did I say that out loud? You did you wear the cloak? Me. I I had fun with it. Did you, did you wear the cloak, Annis? I'm not saying anything. What did you do? Forget I said anything. Um. Gross. Uh. 
So she's just going to look around the shop and see if there's anything interesting. Sure. Roll investigation. <laughs> no, uh, she's just like... She's just got like one hand up uh, by her face, just shading her eyes. She's blushing. Yeah, yeah walking around, you're mostly looking at the tools and whatnot. I can't believe I said that out loud. <laughs> and neither of you pick up on anything that didn't stand out to Penelope before. All right. Well, I guess we'll be back in a little bit. Make a circle. Um, comes back around. Hey, Anna. Yannis, stop, stop wandering around. Where should we go next? I mean, I was I was going to ask Lausian a couple questions. Not allowed. That's totally allowed. I, I'm not the boss of you. You can do what you want. You live here. Don't give me that look. <laughs> this is great audio. It's, it's just... just uh, I mean, I, I can imagine the... The glaring just... up of the don't give me that look. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna back away and, uh, you, and, uh, just, uh, say is, hi to is John. This where, is this where you got the Bojangle sauce? It is! Or the, the spice pack, yeah. Oh, interesting. It's taste of home. <laughs> so, anyway. She's just looking around in general. I was wondering if you have anything or could enchant anything that will let someone run faster or cover distance, cover more distance. Do you have any, um, anything in general in mind or you just want someone to get somewhere faster? Just in case someone needs to get somewhere faster. How durable are they? Just looks over at Penelope. What'd I do? Pretty durable, I think. Define durable. Yeah, yeah, define durable. Uh, maybe it'll be easier to explain if I show you. And so he reaches down under the case in front of him and goes rummaging. And I will share something with you. Oh, good. It does have pictures. <laughs> the medieval torture game. Oh, no. <laughs> he pulls out a pair of boots and he sets Look them up me. on the table. And he it's says, uh, these, are, these are boots that are actually made for jumping. Oh. If someone were to wear these boots, they'd be able to... Um, Run at a solid speed, of course. Um, and if you decide that you want to take a leap, you can make it easily three times as far as normal. How much are you asking? Well, we, we're a bit more of a barter system here, but I'm sure we could come up with something. What are you offering to trade? I've got some gold coins. <laughs> ah, <laughs> The most classic of trades. <laughs> I've got some potions. N not quite as many. We used a lot of them fighting those trees. Oh, right. Yeah, you're part of the group that was saving the world yesterday. Oh, well, saving the Sherwood, at least. The world for us. Yeah, she was She was also helping me with, with the stuff yesterday. Yep. Okay, Um. you can do a persuasion roll and make a pitch for what you want to trade for it. Persuasion. Oh wait, I'm going to guidance myself. Um, so that's a d4, right? Yep. Yep. Nice. So that's a, dir that's a dirty 20. Yep. Um, going to just kind of drop a bunch of gold coins on the table uh, on the countertop like more of a cursed looking gold coin 
Uh, Annis does not know they're cursed. <laughs> Till 20 or so. How many do you have? I don't remember. They have a third amount. I don't think you remember. I, oh I think God. it was just... It was established to be a large number that you can use for a reasonable amount of purchases for a while. Like, you can't go yeah. buy in a castle, but, like, you can just throw them around a bit. Yeah. That is amazing. Good. There wasn't much of a point in keeping track of the numbers with how infrequently we're actually spending money. That's yeah. Fair. He's going to take a look at the pile of gold coins you just dropped on the table in front of him. Interesting. You said you've got potions too? Yeah, um, not quite as many. And then, of course, I can get my hands on some kind of rarer ingredients, um, mostly plants and the like. Oh, what do I even have left after the battle yesterday? Um... Oh, wait, I've got this. And Penelope reaches into her bag and pulls out that model of the Eiffel Tower and plunks it on the counter. Interesting. Yeah, he picks it up and he looks at it. <laughs> Mostly, yeah. He's inspecting it pretty closely, actually. He's like, this, uh... Have there. Interesting. So this was um, crafted with some kind of molding system. And he's looking at the crease on the edge of it from how it's made of plastic. <laughs> Don't get a lot of these. Um... Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. You know what? Sure. That sounds fine. Um, would you be wanting the boots as is, or would you like the enchantment transferred over to your shoes? Uh, I don't know, Penelope. Huh? They're for you, so... Uh, um... Uh... So what did they do again? They let you jump. Please. Vertically or horizontally. Three times. Um, also, what they do, I'll just, I'll share it with you so that you can see it. Um, uh -huh. uh, there should be a share Ugh. button for this. I mean, I think you're going to want them, just throwing that out there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, does it not let me share the item description if it's not in your inventory? That's weird. I feel like I've done this before. Uh, I'll add it to the party sheet so you can look at it there. That may be what I did in the past. Inventory. Like, they've changed Fantasy Grounds enough that I lose track of it sometimes. So, I'm just adding it to the party inventory for right now. You can hopefully open that. Um. Magic items work in this setting like they do in typical D&D &D, where they'll just, you can just kind of just wear them. Uh, yeah, you just, you can attune up to three. Okay. Yeah, so um, can you see those in there or do I actually have to um, correct them again? So the only description I have on here says care and attention to detail has gone into the making of these fine boots. Okay, that's the one that you can see. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, so here you go. Oh, there we go. While you wear these boots, your walking speed becomes 30 feet unless your walking speed is higher. Your speed isn't reduced if you're encumbered. In addition, you can jump three times the normal distance. So you can't jump further than your remaining movement would allow. How far can you jump? What What is the normal distance? In D&D? &D? Yeah. Uh, I think your jumping distance is your strength score. But let me check. It's something that doesn't come up as often as it probably should. Yeah. I feel like swim yeah. speed and fly speed come up more often. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they absolutely do. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Movement in 5e. Uh, actions. No pun intended, but I'm just going to go ahead or like jump ahead and say that she is going to take the shoes, but she's going to ask if she can A, try them on first and B, um, if she could transfer the enchantment to the shoes she's wearing. Okay, so here are the rules um, for jumping. Okay. Um, okay. When you make a long jump, you cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet on foot immediately before the jump. 
Mm -hmm. So it would be your strength score of feet. Um, when you make a standing long jump, you can leap only half that distance. Okay. Um, if you want a high jump, you can leap in the air number of feet equal to three plus your strength modifier if you move at least 10 feet on foot immediately before the jump. So in the case of this tripling it, um, you would be able to, with your stats... <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. Jump. With the 10-foot lead time, you could jump 27 feet. Good God! What's funny is I was thinking boots, but I didn't want to be like, hey, hey boots of haste. Yeah, they're not going to be those boots. We're not making that mistake. So tw two campaigns in a row for me. That would be funny. I am not going to make the boots of haste mistake. Oh, you learned. Look, when I heard about those while listening to Critical Role, I knew he made a mistake. <laughs> um, if I was going to do that, I would at the very least change how they work. But. But yeah, um, so Ooh. you can absolutely trade your Eiffel Tower and some gold for the boots, and then we will transfer the enchantment to your shoes. What kind of shoes is Penelope wearing? Um, she's wearing, like, you know those ballet flats that have, like, the ribbons or whatever uh -huh. that lace up and then tie around your ankles? Yeah. That's what she's wearing. And they're blue, naturally. No, actually. Oh, not? No, they are gray. Oh. Practical. She's in the woods. She didn't want to screw up her normal shoes. That's fair. <laughs> All right, so I've renamed them, and I will now add them to your actual character sheet. Cool. And we can give them a picture later when we get around to that. And I will identify them so that they actually work. You will have to attune to them when you take a break. Cool. You can rename them whatever you want to. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you are attuned, you will be up to the walking speed of everyone else in the party. Oh, good. That was the goal. Which is the goal. And now you can get places faster, so you can keep up with us. That's really precious, because it'll look like you're skipping the entire time. <laughs> it's true. My heart. The flats of bouncing and bobbing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Location feet. <laughs> it's where they go. <laughs> One one last question before we leave. Oh, yes. This is a bit of a long shot, but do you know if there's any way to get something enchanted to let you scry? Oh, that's a bit of a, a challenging one. Um, never done that enchantment myself. It's a big one. But... I think we should probably... like It's beyond my abilities, but I think that I could do it if you could get someone who can actually. They need to cast a spell, but it can't be a druid. Hmm. It's a bit outside of my abilities as a druid. I'm I'm a bit more of an artificer. Gotcha. Um, it was worth a If you happen to know any wizards or sorcerers or possibly even a warlock, we might be able to make it work, but you'd have to bring them here. Just looks over at Johnny. That can scry. Oh. Yeah, she's not there yet. You need someone who can do it, but that has to be an arcane spell. A bard could do it, technically. A bard who knows scrying could also help. Because <laughs> also bards good. can learn any spell. So, you know. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Look, absolutely, if you come across someone who can do that, I'd be happy to help. It'd be a fun challenge. Never done it before. Well... Thank you for the boots. Um, I'm sure we'll, well, we'll be back to get kind of these things. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be back. Thank Have you, a good time. Andy. Also, do you know where that boat came from? Where the what? The the boat that's currently on the inn across oh, the, the boat, boat. street. Um, Truth or dare, got a little out of hand last night. Oh, it, right. Your, your Anna Screenleaf, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, reflection. good. I understand now. Yeah, yeah. It should be gone soon. It's just an illusion, I think. Yeah, it's it's just an illusion. It's still the end. Right, because there, there are some rumors going around about how all the people inside disappeared and then there was a boat. Um, oh, well, they did. Um, but we're, we're working on that. Yeah. Um, this but is but all... we, we didn't make those people disappear. Yeah. That the, wasn't us. This is all Evan Garak's fault. Motherfucker. I and mean... by extension, it's all Inosh's fault. Oh. That's terrifying. But don't worry about it. We're, we're working on it. Well, keep up the good work then. Hey, look, someone else oh, is on the map now. Me? Huh? Me? Oh, shit. It's me. It's a horse. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Can you get rid of that for me? I don't have an extra mouse. I made an arrow. Oh, don't There's worry about just it. Light hanging out, too. Um, oh, Juniper got bigger. <laughs> She had a growth did she spurt. scale up on your screen? She did. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. She's I thought normal it was, size to me. I thought it was a leftover now. flight. Oh, there she's, she goes. She's she's tiny now. Okay. Okay. They grow up so fast. They do. <laughs> I find it funny that Juniper stays small when I drag to a new map, but like Penelope and Hemlock get huge. Penelope just wants to be tall. <laughs> She'll be a little faster soon. Right. Yeah. There you go. Got a little bigger. Yay! <laughs> Yay! All right. So, yeah, with that, we can leave. And run right into a host. Oh, hi, Aiden. Oh, hey. How you doing? Hey, Johnny, before we leave, was there yeah. anything you wanted to look for? No, I just think this place is neat. Oh, okay. I, I, I knew a little bit about workshops when I was at home, but it was never really my thing. Gotcha. Yes. Do you know a place where, like, there's clothes for smaller uh, humanoids. Like Juniper? Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, like, more like you all, but, you know, I'm just going to use them for Juniper. Um, there should be, like, a like clothing... A there should be, like, a clothing store somewhere in this town, right? Or a... I mean, like, there, there are places you can trade for clothes, yeah. Yeah. I want to get her some baby booties to put her little, like, her little feet in with the dirt for the, the druid meeting. She's got to be fancy out of dress her up, okay? She's got to look good. Um, I'm excited for this. And then he's ready for the meeting. Uh, yeah, so in terms of places that have things that you can buy, sell, etc., um, for here... The best option for that would probably be I'm looking over the map. Cloth store or something? Yeah. It's like the I don't know if you can see I'm looking at how much of the map you can see right now. Uh from the but tree. The place that you're looking for is in the bottom right of the map. I think I know what you're talking about. Because it was where you first came in. Yeah. Like there's a shop over there. Ravanus wants to take him there. He'll be like, hop on back. We shall ride. I mean, um, we still have to wait on Penelope and Johnny. Oh, yeah. shit. Where um, are they? Hey, Johnny, um, I'll meet you guys outside in just a second. I need to ask him something else before we leave. Oh, um, okay. Okay. It'll just be a second. All right. Oh, yeah. well, hey, there's Johnny. Johnny. Hey, um, I have one more quick question before I leave. Yeah, sure. Do you have any, like, cute necklaces or anything? Uh, enchanted or just nice? Either. I uh, don't really have any enchanted ones, but we have some that haven't been enchanted yet if you're just looking for something to wear normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hold on um, one second. See what I can find. And he walks over here. You know, I'll bet you and anything. And he gets big when I'm trying to rotate him. <laughs> my mom still has some old baby clothes left from 
Just the n number of children she's had. Really? I'll, I'll bet you. So would she go by her place and step them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like she'd really appreciate dressing up Juniper. Maybe. Probably. A baby's a baby. A baby's a baby, that's true. And she is a mama. The last thing I need is to be going around asking about baby clothing. <laughs> Rumors spread so fast here. Oh, that is fair. <laughs> Well, it works out, because I think I needed to talk to your sibling, too, about bugs. Well, I mean, Fennel will, will always talk about bugs. Why the sudden interest in bugs? Remember that one poster that was just, like, the guy who was like, I'm pretty sure I was drunk, but also, it might be a bug. Well, Soren said it might be a bug from the other side. But I figured, I don't know, Fennel might know enough about bugs to maybe know what, you know, kind of family it falls into. She, all, she did mention that there were bugs that came through the portal, so she probably does know something. Yeah. I'd be like, hey, hit me with all of your tiny flying creature knowledge. Now, you understand that if you imply that we're going to look at, look for this bug, she's going to want to come along. I mean, if it's just a bug, I don't see what the problem is. Mm. I suppose that depends on what kind of a bug it is. That is fair. I mean, I guess, I mean, she would know the most if it was dangerous. I, That's, I would hope she... She would know. She okay. would know. And it's not like she can't handle herself. That's fair. Plus, I can give her a band-aid if she needs one. Band-aid. If she comes along, Erin probably will too. And maybe Holly? I don't know. That'll be fun for you, though. You can hang out with your siblings. That's true. And it's not like I haven't accidentally gotten them in dangerous situations. Just, you know, not with something from the other side. That's, that's fair. I figured, you know, if anything, we can get it back through the portal, especially since Penelope has that, uh... Oh, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, you know, kind of round up everything and mm -hmm. push them on through. Probably better than just outright killing things if we can avoid I it. I prefer, yeah, not to... Speaking of which, it should be a lot easier because of the, I've prepped the bubble for the day. You just kind of encapsulate them. It'll be good. It'll be good. Oh, that's what I'm feeling. I'm like, I'm burning up. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> She's like, oh no, I'm, I'm dying. Uh, anyway. Okay, so he brings you a, a necklace that was in the shelf. And he shows it to you, because now I can apparently show items again. Um, Aww. It, it's a cute little necklace. Like, it's, um, like, he he assures you, no, it's not magical. Like, someone at one point suggested I put a an enchantment on it to let it, you know. Are you familiar with a necklace of fireballs? No. Oh, well, it's a dangerous thing. Um, they have beads that explode. Oh. And so it was originally pitched that I make something like that, but I think they're incredibly reckless, so I just held on to it till I could think of a good use for it. But if it's something you'd be interested in, like I obviously haven't gotten around to it, and I've been holding it for at least 10 years now, so I'm probably not going oh, to. Oh, Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm definitely interested in it. Um, what kind of... How? What kind? What Sorry. kind of shit? Um, what kind of enchantments could you do on it? Oh, um, there, are, there are a few options for it, I suppose. Uh, one of the more common ones is to, um, since it goes around your neck, um, to to help people um, breathing in adverse environments. I know, um. I've done that enchantment once for someone who had to spend a lot of time in the city so that they could avoid the smog, but it they, they vary, really. Like, the usually anything's involving breathing or around your neck is good. Um, I suppose it could... Oh, okay, this is a bit superstitious, but you know how it's silver? Um, yeah. could probably put some kind of wood on it to keep away vampires, but how often does that come up? I mean... More often than you'd think. Um, really? Yeah. It's a whole thing. Um, That's terrifying. How complicated would that be? I'm going to 
Wouldn't be too complicated, but it would be difficult to test unless you have a vampire. I can find one. That's telling. Okay. Um, <laughs> tell you what. <laughs> I would be happy to enchant this to keep away vampires, but I want to see you bring in a vampire and make it work. <laughs> So I need to know if it works or not. Um, how about this? I'll take the necklace for now. And when I can find a vampire, I will bring it back. Uh, roll persuasion on that one. <laughs> You're just taking this guy's entire inventory. I paid him for basically everything so far. Oh wait, that's perception. Fuck. Ignore that. I gave him 20 gold That's points. performance. Fuck. He and Annis both don't know that they're cursed. 24! <laughs> Got that bard rolling. Um, <laughs> sure, I, I think you're probably good for it. Why not? It's not I mean, like of course. doing anything I'll on my shelf. Yeah, I, I mean, I will obviously pay you for it. That, uh, hang on to it. Don't worry about it. But again, if you want to you ever want to experiment with keeping a vampire at bay, I'd be very curious to see it. Um, that said, don't bring a vampire here that you can't control. That, that would be frowned upon. I mean, clearly. It's just um, not done. She digs into her bag and then pulls out the kazoo and puts that on the counter. Yeah? Yeah. I'll give you this for that, for the necklace. I know you okay. just said I could take it, but you said it's a barter system, and I'm going to honor that. Inter so this is a bard's kazoo? Yes. It's got an interesting enough story to it. Yeah. Um, what did you say your name was again? Penelope. Are you the famous Penelope? Um, Define famous. Uh, one of the Greenleaf kids said you were really cool. <laughs> I mean, that is me, yes. Um, Good enough, yes. then. Yeah, sure. I'd love to have a famous bard's um, instrument. No problem. <laughs> cool. I'll just put it over here, and I will brag about it whenever they come in. And yes. maybe someday use it to barter for them to leave me alone. <laughs> we roll up in here the next day with the super soaker. So how much to enchant this to make it <laughs> You know, to use on vampires. Look, you I've slowly got start water. the rumor that there are vampires in Sherwood. <laughs> no. I've got the holy water. I just need to be never ending, okay? We'll see you again in a little bit. Yeah, we roll up in here. How much to enchant this to be never ending? And he goes, Again, really, Annis? You're coming to me about this again? No, not for a prank war, not this time. I, I'm enjoying watching him rotate. Yeah. <laughs> see you in a while. Have a nice day. Whoop. See you see you in a bit. Woo! There's Penelope. Hello. And she looks at Johnny and she's like Hey, I've got a present for you. What? Yeah. Oh, um, I don't have anything for you. Uh, That's okay. Uh, all right. She's like, hold out your hand. Uh, she does so. And she puts the necklace in her hand. Oh, wow. Is it this, this for me? Yeah. Thank you. Um. She sort of stoops down rather than taking it. Could you put it on me? Yeah, of course. Right, over the horns it goes. <laughs> All right, it does fit. Yay! And they do that outside in the open. Yes. You just see my googly eyes sparkle. You stop that. <laughs> As you I stare at away. both of you. You stop. It's too late. <laughs> Ugh. I have a little grin on my face, so I'm just like. <laughs> and it's well, also like. Penelope can't see side. either of you because she right. is not looking at either of you. She is looking at Johnny. And Johnny can't see us so, either, so we're exactly. just like. It's true. <laughs> None of them are aware. 
<laughs> Except le- less audibly. <laughs> it's, it's, it's whispered. It just at each other. And Penelope is just going to admire her handiwork and be like, it looks good on you, Johnny. Thank you. It, it does actually match my hair pretty well. It does. It has little cute little sapphires on it, too, so it kind of matches my outfit. Thank you. I'll, I'll treasure it always. Yay! I hear you back there! <laughs> <laughs> and then completely oblivious, Penelope turns around and is just it's like, All right, are we ready to go? Yeah, um... What were you guys laughing about back there? We're having Nothing. a good old time. Did you want the Grand Tua, or should we just go back to the Were you the guys house? saying something? Because I thought I heard you say something. Nope. Are I you mean, sure? I because I'm pretty... I to get booties for Juniper. Yeah, but that, that was... I didn't hear you guys saying anything like that. I thought I heard you guys saying something else. No, that was booties for Juniper. <laughs> so did you want the Grand Tua, or should we go back to the house? We've got a little time to kill before the meeting. I'd love to have the grand I'm... tour before I have to come back and get the other thing, but also, what were you guys saying? Um, you're adorable and never change. Yeah. Inside check. <laughs> what, what do I roll to contest that? Um... Uh, persuasion or deception? I wasn't voice. actually saying that in character. I want you to know that. Oh, I just rolled a 21 on inside bitches. I mean, and I rolled a 1. Here, let me, let me roll my... Would, would you like Anna to re-roll that? No. <laughs> okay. Let me let me not. What is it? Deception. Perception or Perce- no no persuasion or deception, depending on what you're trying to go for. I mean, I didn't say that one part in character, but he was giggling at both of you. We were we were laughing maniacally. That was in character. <laughs> uh, persuasion. Eleven. You both rolled shit. <laughs> you I rolled a twenty-one. But that's not even charisma. That's a uh, inside is wisdom. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're right i am a pro at wisdom but i'm not intelligent so I, I appreciate that the wisdom roll came from the bard and the charisma <laughs> rolls came from the not bards it's true so uh yeah what were you guys talking about huh i mean what we was, were just like, saying that you were you were adorable that was bullshit you, you, you know were adorable i mean i wasn't really talking to you it was more like giggling like you know what were you giggling about how, how cute you two are yeah stop oh my god we were stop. honest you asked us we said you were cute <laughs> It was the truth. I don't know. I, just, I, don't know, I keep giggling because you're adorable. <laughs> I can say it louder if you want. Johnny, <laughs> I think you're both adorable. And he just looks at Johnny straight face. <laughs> Johnny is going to look at Penelope's reaction to this, which I'm assuming is appropriately red and uncomfortable. Yep. She asked. She literally forced it out of us. You can't take her side on this one. Was that out of character? No, that's in character. character. He's looking at her. She literally forced it out of us. I I didn't say shit. You said shit. You said no. I didn't force you to do shit. You said we were filthy liars. So over here to the left is the inn, which I'm sure we're all familiar with. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Oh. It's still a boat. It's still a boat. <laughs> More to the point. Um, what what you're seeing upon making Penelope uncomfortable <laughs> is an illusion floating around you. <laughs> John, that's not fair. She started it. You're, you're not very familiar with how this works, are you? Johnny, that's messed up. Uh, She's going to be right, no matter what. Are you kidding me? Even when she's wrong? Especially when she's wrong, she's going to be right. God damn it, Johnny! When do I get to be right? Um, I'll tell you when you're older. And over here to the right is... I mean, (laughs) if you promise, okay. Hemlock. Do you promise? Sure. Sure. How much older do I have to be? Uh, Wait, Johnny, how old are you? You see, now you should know better than ask that question, too. Yeah, that's rude. Well, no, are you older than me? Like, am I supposed to do it as, like... She's older than me, and I'm older than you. Wait, she's older than you? Yeah. I didn't know that, Johnny. I had no idea. Uh, All right, uh, so I need a few years, then, is what you're saying. I got you, I got you. 
Now, Pinky yeah. promise. Yeah. Tiefling doesn't crack. <laughs> no, you, I'm like, that, that is some fine, smooth skin. Horns are an immaculate shape. Why, thank you. You should probably stop talking now while you're still... No, she, she understands. The horns, you have to take really good care of them, okay? It's like taking care of your hooves. So the answer is it's a potion shop? Oh, potions. Right, yes. So uh, I, go, I go there, and we have the grand tour, and I point out all of the places, and you... <laughs> Witty anecdotes. Yay. I don't know where anything is in, on the street. Sure you don't. Sure you I'm getting an echo from you. I borrow a mouse real quick. I made a thing on the screen again on accident. Penelope's just going to start walking in a direction. I mean, That's yeah, okay. if you want Potion Shop, uh, it's immediately north of here, to the left. I'm just going to drop my two seconds. Do, do, do. She's walking forward like, I assume if I'm going the wrong way, and it's will stop me. We're Maybe. experiencing some technical difficulties. Oh, no. Oh, good. Opening a door. There we go. Okay. Ah. You. I'm going to drag Merlin up so that the world can see oh, what's yes. behind me. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I have no idea where I am right now. Are we going up or down? You I went, went up into the left. Up, and you found the potion shop. Oh, shit, nice. All right, I will join you. We. And right here is the potion shop. Cool. Melody's going to walk in. <gasps> you see someone you know. Oh. Yes, Yay. it's the sweet little angel. Is it? Hey, Annis, isn't that the little girl? Oh, yeah. I'm losing her name right Valeria. now. Valeria. Yes. <gasps> Valeria! Oh, hi. She runs over to save your horsey. Yay! I scoop her up and I do a little twirl with her. As you do so, um, she sees a uh, baby Juniper again. Oh, yeah. Because she saw Juniper the first time. Yeah. You've had Juniper the entire time. Exactly. And then she says, so is that one of the bad ones or is she good? She's a very good girl. Okay. Do you want to give her a head pat? Um... You don't she's have going to. to. She's going to roll for that. Why am I doing this? She actually has a character sheet. Ignore that. She actually has a character sheet. Let me actually use her character sheet. Yeah. She really likes grapes. How brave is that? She awkwardly Children? reaches over to pat Juniper and... Um, doesn't do an effective job like you've been carrying juniper around for a little bit and you know what juniper likes but juniper is being tolerant of this child essentially patting juniper's face <laughs> rather than the top of the head oh She's here, let me let me guide you just a little bit higher right here right, uh, right where you're guiding her is. okay yeah uh she does much better now that she's added a d4 um oh i literally <laughs> was just gonna move her hand like an yeah old i know person. i'm just making a bad oh, joke yeah. <laughs> there you go <laughs> perfect and now you know how to pat little babies. Mom and Dad say I should run away if I see those. The, yeah, the, the scary ones. Absolutely. They are both right here, watching all this play out. Yes, and in general, you should run away if you see one of those. Yeah. We, and, we have found some ones that are like, you know how you should run away if you see a wild wolf, but pet dogs are okay. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so, hi, hello, um, I'm here to look at your potions? <laughs> I think I was so yeah, the two of them have been watching this play out. They're still kind of dumbfounded by the centaur that is currently holding their daughter. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the mother speaks up first. Oh, hello, um, yes, uh, welcome, welcome in to, uh, 
A potion shop. Um, I, are you the heroes that um, Fazaria told us about? The what ones who fought the fight? shark? Oh, we did fight a shark. Thank That's you true, very we much. We were terribly that. worried about her. She's also apparently very large right now. Hold on. No, <laughs> there we go. Much better. I will always a... get those wrong the first time, no matter what. It's still beautiful. She does a twirl and gets smaller. Uh, magic. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, sorry, um, we're being rude. Um, yes, uh, uh, my name is uh, Liliana Moonleaf, and this is my husband, uh, Solace. Uh, he's currently, uh, well, if I'm being honest, he's currently dumbfounded by the centaur. He's a bit of a fan. Uh, 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 but oh. give him a second, he'll catch up. But yes, I thank you very much for saving our daughter yesterday, and for all that you've done since then as well. We appreciate no your help. He's going to look like, at her um, bandages. Um, Solace, dear, uh, could you go and get... Yeah, that's right. Go get it. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, and he's going to wander away for a minute. Uh, it's about to be a cake, isn't it? I was about to... I literally was about to actually ask her about the cake. How did you read my mind? <laughs> he's going to whisper to her. Um, it's like a bond. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, he's going he's gonna to whisper to Valeria. He's like, hey, so... um. Apparently we can't get a cake that like I can pop out of, but I thought maybe we can get like I don't know like another one, because I think they know I think they know I'm here now. Oh no! But we put so much effort into the cake. <gasps> Wait, you got a cake? Oh, but you said we would. Yeah. I, well, I mean, it's been a day and I didn't see you. And <gasps> we can make this work. We can make this still work. That we can pretend that they don't know I'm here yet. Crap. Uh, uh... Papa should be back soon. Just give him a sec. Um, oh, yay. And I don't have a token for this, unfortunately. I know you're shocked that I don't have a cake token. I am disappointed in myself, too. It's okay. I legitimately am like, oh, my God, there gets to be a cake. I'm so excited. Wait, you mean to tell me that you guys actually went out and got a cake? Uh, not quite. We, we, we made one. <gasps> to the specification. He, he got our daughter back safely. Aww. So here is your cake to specification. And the father comes over and he's holding like, it looks like a hat box. Like it's a relatively large rounded box and he pulls the cap off the top of it and there is a cake inside of it. Um, and it has icing on it and it has um, a series of cherries in the icing. Oh my God. And then he says, um, like the icing looks like it's probably um, more of a cream cheese base. <gasps> and what he says is, it took a bit of work, but um, per what my daughter said, uh, we put together a cake using a um, potion of enlarge as a base. <gasps> so when you're ready to hide in it, since that's apparently what you're doing, we pluck did the center cherry and it will grow. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're going to do it, Valeria. We're going to do it. Hooray. <gasps> Are you allowed to pop out of the cake too? I should probably stay here. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I'm, I'm not so allowed to go to the meeting. I'm not a druid yet. Wait, what? I'm going to the meeting. You should go to the meeting. No, she's a child. That doesn't stop you from education. You gotta learn early, right? You look at the parents. <gasps> uh, I think our daughter's going to be staying home. It's not really for us. Oh, that's that's a, oh, I guess. Okay, I'll leave you some notes. He's just like whispering that to her. Okay. Yeah. This is the weirdest item I get to add to your inventory. I'm so <laughs> excited. I did not think this was gonna happen. I am. That's how I'm getting in. Yeah. That's how I get in uh, early. <gasps> let me drop this in for you. Oh my fucking god! I know what I'm doing. Is there enough? Like, like there is room in that cake for me to like, you know, just chill in there and move my hands a little bit, right? Uh, you'll find out when you see how big it is. Oh, um, boy. <laughs> oh, 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 ah. This is a whole extra layer to what I was at. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Did you mean that fun layer? Oh, shit. <gasps> ah! <laughs> I did not. Oh, my God. 
I'm just excited because this makes things even more flavorful. Mm. <laughs> He's you gonna. Could, you could say it's the cherry on top of the rest of your plans. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. He's gonna give her that one. So flat. Like, oh. no, I loved it. He's he's just gonna give her the like nicest hug in the world, and he's so excited to think this is like legitimately like the most exciting thing that's ever happened to him. All right. This is just gonna go into. I'm assuming Aiden is gonna be the one who's taking this. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna get myself in that bad boy. All right, I'm, I'm not ready. gonna write the box, but you know it's in a box. Excellent. All right, one eighty. It is down. now in your inventory. God. <laughs> Nina's gonna hate him. <laughs> Kilfak is gonna judge him. Woo! Uh, I'm ready. All right, I, I labeled the location as cake box. Excellent. Inventory. <laughs> Cake of irresponsible expansion. <laughs> wow. I'm so ready. I'll tell you how it goes, Valeria. Okay, I look forward to it. You're going to visit I mean, again later, right? What? You're going to visit, right? Absolutely. I got to tell you how it goes, and I got to give you some cool notes that you can keep for later, because, you know, learning is, is very good. That's what mom and dad say. Yeah. Are you going to work in a potion shop too like Annis does? I don't know. I haven't figured oh. that out yet. Whenever you feel what your heart desires, pursue it with a passion. I will do my best to figure that out over the next few decades. You've got plenty of time. We'll make sure of that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it takes elves a really long time to grow up. <laughs> it really does. He's just like, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, he might be like, <laughs> she'll still be a kid. It takes a while. Uh, oh yeah. But he pats her on the head. And she gets head pats, like, and then she runs around back to where mom and dad are. And the rest of this, this whole game is just dedicated to Valeria. Get the world. Huh. Oh, sweet, sweet. You can tell that her parents come from a traditional background while she comes from Picru. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We're a beautiful family. So, uh... Uh, yeah, potions. What do you oh. have? And this isn't like betrayal if I get potions from them, right? No, of course not. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, what you got? Uh, we're a bit specialized. Uh, as you might imagine, um, the greatest needs that we have in this area are potions of healing, so we have more of those than most. Um, we've got a, a number of standard potions of healing, but we've also got a few potions of greater healing if your needs are truly greater. Ooh. Would it be investigation for me to just look around and kind of just snoop on their quality of their potions. Uh, you can walk around. Yeah, you can do investigation. Woo. Okay. Like so, as uh, she's looking around at the locals, um what you find in here is that these are people who um which tracks with Anis's understanding of things. Like elves tend to be really really good at the one thing they focus on. Mm -hmm. And do almost nothing outside of that. <laughs> And this is a family that has gotten incredibly, incredibly good at making specifically healing potions. Um, they have nice, high-quality ingredients here in Sherwood. They um, produce... You would wager that these healing potions, just based on the general, like, holding them up to the light and seeing how, like, cleanly settled and evenly distributed they are, are probably more effective than standard healing potions. Mm-hmm. But beyond that, you don't actually see a lot of variety. Like, there's a few potions that are pretty basic, but they're the kinds of things that you could just knock out in, like, an hour. Like, it's nothing too exceptional, but the healing potions are really good. Okay. Um, how much are your healing potions? 
Oh, um, let's see. Check the inventory a bit. Um, so, what what level of healing potions are you looking for? Um, do they have anything that's above greater, like a superior? Uh, let's check the list. But I can't make superiors yet. And give that the roll. Wow, that's beautiful. Uh, so I, I rolled on the chart to see uh, what they have in stock right now, and it they hit a 20, so they actually do have uh, two superior healing potions. Ooh. Which is heavy duty. Yeah, yeah that is. <laughs> the fact that they had two is entirely because it was a nat 20. Um, mm -hmm. They had to roll an 18 and up to have one. <laughs> Yeah, they have two. Like they're these are like the prized potions that are up in the shelf. Like there's a bunch of other smaller vials, but these are fancy. Mm -hmm. Um We have we actually have two um superior healing potions if you're interested, but they're they're a bit steep, as you can understand. They're they're quite rare and we've only managed to get two of them up to our standards in the last several months. Define steep. Um in terms of bartering, you would have to have something pretty rare to trade for it. Uh, In terms what? of money, you we don't really do a lot of that here. Um, so, Annis has known these this family for a while. They they're pretty trustworthy, right? Yeah, they're they're totally trustworthy and legit. Okay, Annis will just reach into her bag of holding and pull out a root of Inosh. Okay. What have you got there? So this has a bunch of mana in it. It's a root of one of those evil trees that was growing here. Oh. Um, I know it can be used in potions, but it's a bit beyond my capabilities to really utilize it. Certainly interesting. Let me take a look at that. So she's going to take a closer look. And this is the one from Sherwood, not the one from Germany. Annis is holding on to the one from Germany. Okay, so this is uh, the one that you have from one of the trees that you um, took out yesterday? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. If you can oh, do something um, good with it. Solace, come take a look at this. Oh, all right. Um, he walks over, and he's also going to do a check. And he squints at it a little bit, and he says, It looks pretty dense, doesn't it? It looks incredibly dense. Uh, not seen anything of this. Are you saying that this came from one of those trees? Yeah, they grow by stealing them on out of ley lines essentially oh so this is potentially potentially miles of mana so to speak from the ley lines yeah we got to such them, a compact place yeah we got to them pretty quickly um from my understanding if we left the trees for much longer it would have become a fruit of einash instead of a root oh that's terrifying i've heard the legends of those okay uh so you're willing to part with this like i said i i don't know what i can do with it and if you can figure out a way to do something good with it that would be for the best because otherwise it'll just go to waste or end up in the wrong hands <laughs> all right uh we'll have i for one would love to see what we can do with it i, I do think that would be a Worthwhile thing. If we can make some good come from this mess, then that would definitely be worth the... If you're willing to part with it and you trust us with it, then yes, I'd absolutely like to make that trade. Uh, not that I don't trust them, but I'm going to inside that. Go for it. Never mind. Well, I, trust I will them. let you re-roll it. Okay. 
wholehearted trust. I swear if that landed on the one again. <laughs> Ugh, that's a little better. That is a little better. They seem sincere. Like, they seem yeah. curious to work on this, but also, uh, when you'd mentioned where it came from, this sort of recoiled a little bit. Like, they are not about that, but you've yeah. kind of talked them into it. Something that might be yeah. useful for something good. Yeah, and, I mean, if you figure out a good way to use it, definitely let uh, me and um, Alda know as well, in case we happen to cross any more of these. Sure, at the very least, it'll be worth discerning what we can do with them. If this is a, as potent as it might be, we may be able to get significantly more potions of higher quality out of it. And Well, there's yet to find someone who doesn't appreciate a good healing potion. Yeah, yeah, I do appreciate some fine healing. <laughs> potions don't require spell slots. It's true. It's definitely true. And, and you don't have to have your hands free well to to drink it. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> if you're willing to trade one of those superiors, uh, I can't quite make those yet. So it'd yeah. be handy There's to something have. Something of this quality will we can give you both of them. This Are you is sure? Really, something. Yes, I, I absolutely. I insist. I mean, to be fair, that is a really old sword writer. That is true. Yeah, in All the right. grand scheme of bartering, like they're getting a good deal here. Yeah. That's fair. You gave them a great deal. Would you guys be willing to throw in a couple of the greater potions as well? Uh, roll persuasion, but with advantage, because they're kind of already getting a good deal. So, should have a pretty easy shot with this. Twenty-seven. <laughs> and that was supposed to be two of those. Oh, of course, yeah, that's absolutely reasonable. Hold on, um, and now we're gonna pull out the party sheet again. <laughs> so there's Good. us three. There, there's us three and Johnny and Derek. So one per each would be good, and then the two superiors is like a. I know this isn't gonna just in case. Mean last resort much but i kind of want to i want to do something nice for them because they've been treating us really well mm. and he's really attached to valeria so like i want him to bless them i know it's only for a minute but i can choose three creatures which means i can bless this whole fucking family that is what up is to it? you that is your spell what to cast it? it's a first level spell i mean it's when they make an attack or a saving throw Charging over 1d4 and a number of rolls. Like, I think it's nice flavor just to bless the plant family. Yeah. Like, just to have good business, good health. You know, if someone catches a cold today, they're fucking beating it, okay? Yeah. Like, he's gonna bless and he's gonna pull out his flask with holy water, drip a little on his hands, you know, slather him up and be like, when he, you know, when they're done doing their things, I, I think they're like looking at potions and stuff, but he's gonna, he's gonna bless them. Okay, so while you're getting that ready, um, they um, they grab the two uh, superior healing potions off the shelf from their place of prominence, and they set them down on the counter. And then they pull out four greater healing potions and place those up with it. Oh, yeah, because there's These only are... four of us. Huh? There's only four of us here, right? Yeah, they, they essentially grab one for each of you. Mm-hmm. This is about all we can spare at the moment, since we had to distribute a number of them to the um, people injured when the blights attacked. But no, that's um, that's great. That's yeah, that's that's really generous. Well, you saved our girl, and now you're giving us an opportunity to do more. So it seems certainly, fa if not fair, at the very least, um, a large part of what we can do to help you. Uh, once we find out more about this, I'd be happy to share my notes with you too, Annis. Oh, that would be lovely. It's been a while since I've really had an opportunity to speak with other potion meisters. I mean, your, your grandfather is a wonderful person, but he doesn't share much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't share anything. It's true, it's true. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. 
Aiden's gonna okay, so wait. So those are in the um, party sheet for whenever you want to grab them. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I've got a bag of holding, so I can oh, at yeah, least grab keep... the superiors. I say, look, he can slam his in there too. He's gonna be carrying all sorts of other junk in his bags. And he will gladly take it from your They're hands. They're in the party sheet? Yep. Yeah, they're just labeled as potions in the party sheet. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, were they not? I wish it would identify no. those automatically. Hold on. I understand oh, yeah. why it doesn't, but how's it going? Where would they go. be mad? 8d4 plus 8. Jesus. Yep. Mm. Yeah, that's They're if we need feeling. to get that back up. That's if we need to get Aiden like back hit, up. Yeah, if I get hit by a tree. Yeah, again. you're the only one that has that like amount of health. crazy amount of health. Yeah. What really sucks is when you down those and you roll like a one one two two and you're like that costs so much money. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a reason that now that I've got the extra slots for prepared, I've got a spell. It's like you get the max healing out of shit. Grant, I've seen a spells. number of house rules that try to alleviate um, potion misery like that. Um, one of the ones that I've seen that was popular was instead of doing the house rule where you can drink a potion as a free action. Mm -hmm. They just have potions do max healing, but you have to use a standard. Oh, okay. No, actually, it covers. It does cover potions too. It regain maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. Oh, that's um. Beacon of hope. Beacon it's, of hope. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's a I good one. That. Yeah, it's in my um. Actually, why is that? It's your domain spell, right? Uh, it should be. Why is it in my? Why is it in my third levels? Ah, shit. I gotta change one again. <laughs> Apparently, I put it in normal too. I did not mean to do that. Hey, being a prepared caster is work. Yeah, it really is. I I maintain that druids are the hardest class to play. Like clerics have it pretty rough, but when you add in wild shaping on top of everything else, it's just a lot of work to be a druid. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, wizards are over there like, I have as many options as I can find money. There's a reason I haven't been doing Wild Shape much. I was and this a is with the game doing the work for you. Yeah. I was a horse yesterday. <laughs> Gee. It's true. But yeah, so you guys have some items. Um, while you're, uh, you know, I guess blessing them... Um, the the mother uh, Liliana is going to ask Annis. Annis, dear, do you happen to know where your your family is falling in terms of the political situation at the moment? Um, I mean, I don't gather that they're all that they're really aligned with any of the factions. To be frank, well, that sounds fair. Um, I think we're all waiting and seeing. I know we're not. I know they're not with the the quitter party. Oh yeah, that's that's a that's a dead end. Uh, I, I don't yeah. know many people under five hundred who've considered that a viable option. Honestly, I don't think I don't think I'm really align going to align with any of them. It's understandable. Like we, if I can be candid with you, and I think I can, um, we were sort of favoring the the migration party for a bit just because we want Valeria to get a chance to live a full and happy life and I'm worried that as Mana declines on this side of the world she won't get a chance to do that but well, um... considering the first thing that popped through the bubble to another world was trying to eat her doesn't seem like so great of an option anymore and well mom is draining out of there too it's just there's more of it over there to begin with that's sort of the questionable thing because i'm i'm not the most versed on it but my understanding as someone who works with you know with potions is that if it's draining from both sides then the level on that side would be going down enough that we might actually be able to survive there now but if it continues yeah. to drain, then obviously it's a moot point. It's just, we'll get longer. Yeah. Yeah, I, and well, for obvious reasons, I'm not exactly favoring the migration party. Yes, it's definitely understandable. Um, it, it's an interesting one. There, 
Their leader is a very interesting woman. She's She's been around for quite a while. Yeah, um... Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I don't know who's reading the leading the revelation party or the unification party. I think the only ones that are actually native to here are Scribe and Margaret, right? The others are kind of from outside Sherwood. Uh, that that's definitely true. None of them are really local to here. Um, my understanding is that uh, the leader of the Unification Party. Um, uh, I think it's Felicius. Uh, he's from um, mainland Europe. I, I believe he's got ties to, well, all sorts of things. Um, that would make sense for being the party that wants to see if we can all get along with the Mages Association in the church. So, My yeah, understanding does. of the situation is that He's kind of gathering the people that don't really have enough standing in those organizations and trying to put together his own party of sorts. His, his family is known for doing that. Well, I, that's the one I can see, uh, ironically, that's the one I can see working out the best just because, I mean, obviously, the Mages Association and the Church are both full of terrible people but there are terrible people everywhere and i've met some good people from the majors association and some um okay people from the church at least i, I, don't, I don't know we've not really left sherwood very often in our time but we've certainly met a variety of people who visited here and while they're not all druids obviously i do feel like there's more to the world than hiding here and if we ever want to participate in it, we're going to have to make some friends. Yeah, definitely true. I'm just, I'm going to wait and see how the meeting goes before I make any decisions. I think that's probably wise. Um, I... But some outside perspective will probably do some good for some of the people here, scribe at least. <laughs> <laughs> He's done a remarkable job of sealing himself off from all input for so long I, I don't know that it's going to go anywhere but I I do worry a little bit that um, at the end of the day this is really going to come down to how optimistic are you that this problem is going to sort itself out and if it does where do you want to be when it happens yeah it's understandable Personally, I don't really trust the. I don't trust that Igmillennia guy at all. Uh, wait, who? Uh, the the guy from the Unification Party, uh, Felicius Igmillennia. Millennia. Oh, why don't you trust him? Uh, just that he's anyone who shows up saying that he can bring together mages and the church and the association and the druids and everything is either incredibly optimistic or incredibly incredibly dangerous and you know it's possible that he's both i could see i could see it happening but i i don't know like i said i've we've met some good and bad people from all walks of life recently. It just all depends. <laughs> There's a lot going on, unfortunately, more than just the mana drain. That's definitely true. It's been building up for some time now, hasn't it? Yeah. The mana drain is only really exacerbating the problem, I think. I'm sure you don't need to talk to your sister to hear about the decline of the bees. No. Oh. I've noticed that, yeah. <laughs> well, 
rest assured, no matter what we do, we will do our best to make sure that everything, that, that the world is safe for people like Valeria and us to grow up in. We, we appreciate that greatly. Speaking of which, um, I don't, I don't mean to, you know, make personal space, but would you mind if you hold out your hands? No, um, not at all. Uh, and then, you know, Valeria too. Whoop. She climbs up on top of that and then hops over. So he starts speaking in Sylvan and he pretty much goes, um, the equivalent of may Eldath watch over you and you stay healthy and may the waters keep you cleansed and hydrated and healthy and just nothing but good things happen to you okay so you're blessing the three of them yeah may and your so, like, skin he, stay clear and may your, skin stay, <laughs> your skin stay nice and moist and your crops watered and he makes like the way that he's gonna do it because he takes the holy water may i'll definitely be with you and also with you <laughs> <laughs> and with you good friend <laughs> And he draws the the three waves of Eldas symbol on their palms as like the sprinkles, quote unquote, the holy water. Uh huh. I know it only cold, like, I know it only lasts a minute, but he's just blessing them. He's just like, you all have been nothing but kind, and I thank you for this exciting cake. I'm gonna surprise everybody, and I hope you know that you just you all stay safe while we take care of things. Well, thank you very much. Um, it's not often we get a a centaur blessing. Thank you. No problem. That's that's what he would do. I'm good now. And Valeria is up on Iden's back, right? Oh, she. Uh, she she crawled over the. Uh, the desk so to speak and just sort of squeeze in the middle of the whole group so that she could also touch his hands when he was doing his thing so she's on the ground yeah. right now oh she's on the ground okay yeah so Ennis will like kind of not squat down but like do the thing where she kind of bends down and puts her hands on her knees so she can talk to Valeria all right you'd be good Valeria and um stay away from those land sharks okay I will I'll tell Holly that you said hi. That's good. Yeah, do that. Quick out of character question. How tall is Valeria? That is a good question. Uh, let me check her character sheet. Because <laughs> she got one in the event that she had to survive a land shark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. And she did. She got bandages. Uh, she is three foot six she is slightly taller than or she's exactly as tall as vivi isn't she yeah she's yep. exactly as tall as vivi yep i would like to point out that i do not do this crouching down thing when i'm talking to penelope or vivi oh, this is yeah. the thing you do for a little with a little kid yeah she, yeah. she just like, reaches over and just like pats valeria on the head she's like don't get taller i can't promise that She's going to get taller. Damn it. Well. It'll take a long time, though. That is fair. Cool. I mean, not cool. I'm... Thank you for the potions! And she's just going to walk out the door. Actually, really quick. Ooh. You said you put the bot... You know, you've had the botany fern, too, right? But it's back at your place in, in the... Um, either... It Yours. should it should either be at the garden here or at Grandpaps. I sent the cutting back okay, here. Okay, did okay. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Well, if Grandpaps for them to propagate. I was gonna say if Grandpaps doesn't share, he like and he and he just turns to the dad real quick one more time. He's like, actually, he is a little stubborn with sharing, and he pulls out the uh, <laughs> the botany fern that he totally stole. 
And it's just like, if you would like some, I'd be glad to share some clippings. Uh, where? Did, what is this? A very rare plant. Use he the takes potion. a look at it. Ooh, and he nat 20s. Ooh. Uh, this looks wrong. Something wrong with it. I mean, I did try to free it from the horrible things they were doing with the other plants there. Yeah, we did. Well, he kind of stole it from the Mages Association. I did. It um, was it was a tragedy to see. It's a it's a plant that, for all intents and purposes, is extinct. I see. Um, is there no saving it? I, I don't think it's a. It's a. It's sort of a hybrid of what I imagine it was supposed to be and something that wasn't extinct. It's just something different. It's really subtle, but and they he holds it up um, so that the two of you can see it, and he points out some small areas mm. where um, the way that it's growing is suspiciously like straight lines, mm, like rather yeah. than branching out in tiny curves, it's straight lines. Well, that's good information for you to know, though. I, yeah, I mean, I've got the real deal. I'm well, pretty yeah. sure. But at least knowing for what they've got there. That's true. Because they said they had more. That's also true. Like, and they've been. Hidden. Oh, yeah, and they've been doing a really shitty job at doing egg growing. Yeah, it, it kind of And potion apart. making. They're really bad at it. Well, um, actually, if anything, plant both of you do an arcana check. Okay. That was a good thing I pulled out those trees. Uh, to be fair, my arcana is jack. Oh, wait, can I guidance myself? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I got a 14. Oh, shit. I don't think I need to. Wait, where'd it go? That was a 20. What the did it, fuck? Oh, did you roll it outside the chat box? Or did it bounce out? No, Sometimes it, just... it bounces out. If you got a 20, I believe you. Like, there's not a reason to lie about it. Why? So um, I, got a 20. I know sometimes they just fall out, so. It's a 19, because I have a 9 in my spot. Okay. So you've got a 19, and Anna says a 14? Yeah. Okay, so um, looking at this thing, Anna, so something about the way that the lines in this thing are growing looks familiar to you, but you're having trouble placing it. Um, Aiden, it's really weird that you would know this. Uh, <laughs> but based on um, what you'd been taught about how... Um, both druidic magecraft and other magecraft works. Um, you know what magic circuits are. Oh, and, yeah, the teacher talked about it. Yeah, you know what magic circuits are. And looking at these lines, uh, you can see that this plant actually has not actually magic circuits, but it was grown in a way similar to how magic circuits are usually visualized. Like, not how they physically are in your body, but the way that they're visualized with those lines that break off and go into angles. And it's, um, uh, it's incredibly artificial now that you've noticed that they're straight lines and you're getting the impression that whatever they did to grow this um, is a direct result of magecraft being applied almost as if the plant itself were being grown as a mage like maybe what they spliced with this wasn't a plant <laughs> wait, wait 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 you're saying this wasn't a plant in, in his mind in his mind it's like if you were to teach a plant how to cast magecraft this is what it would look like if you looked at the plant's magic circuits so this is a hybrid of something this capable of magic but not like i'm not saying it's a human or anything i'm just saying like whatever this is is from some scenario where it would be capable of casting a spell, even though it's a plant. No, no, no. He, he's just like, what you were describing to him, he's looking in his mind. He's like, so if Juniper learned how to cast magic, this is what it would look like, is what I'm trying to decipher here. Yeah. <laughs> and he just looks down at Juniper, and he looks at this plant, and he's like, Anis, I think these plants know how to cast magic. Uh, 
look, it's like that teacher taught us with the mage, the the the, the lay. What what is it called? The mage, mage. Magic, magic circuits. Magic circuit. There's magic circuits on this this plant. Do I need to roll again, or you do talk I talk to the plant? You you can pick together what that means. Yeah, like okay. it was. Really, now that he's pointed it out, you can see it because you'd rolled high before. You just couldn't quite place it. Huh. Um, can you talk to the plant? Do I? Is it is it alive enough for me to talk? No, to it? this is very dead. Oh, oh. Um, I don't think I can talk to this plant, but that's a good idea. I'm, so it, the to... next time I'm in the Mages Association, we should probably find where they're hiding all those and uh, see if they're not like making mage plants. It's well, it's clear that it's definitely artificial. I'm just worried about the plants being, you know. Mm. It's definitely weird. I didn't see that at first. Well, thank you for pointing this out, good sir. That's very strange, but that I'm also not entirely sure how this potion would work. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned. I think this this plant needs a good burial. Hmm. Um. Well, it's kind of already dead. Um. I can hold on to it if you don't want to. That it Maybe might be. You can learn more out of it. Yeah, or I can show Grandpa at least. Oh, yeah, yeah, he might have more insight. He's had some dealings with the Mages Association. That's fair. And I was also going to give him the mushroom, too. So Yeah. I'll just I'll hold on to it for Pat's. Okay. Well, that's been quite illuminating. That, yeah, that, seriously, thank you. certainly explains why their potions suck. Juniper, that means you can learn magic. I don't think that's what that means. That's okay. His intelligence isn't that great. <laughs> he was wise to remember that the teacher said, Look at these lines. This is what this is. He was not smart enough to know. That doesn't mean plants can't learn magic. The power of wisdom. Dun dun dun. Dun dun. I'll make it work. You're like, how do you recall this? Well, you see. All right. Well, if we're done here, yeah, I think we're good to go. You have a wonderful day. And I will do like a little, he holds Juniper up and does like a little wave to Valeria with her. Uh, she will wave back at the tiny little plant monster. Yeah. Well, thank you again for the potions. Um, Th thank you again for saving our daughter. I mean, I would have done it even, even if there was no, nothing to be gained. She's important we know it just we appreciate you and just because i had to go get a picture of it i'm going to share with everybody else what i just described oh yeah oh goodness uh the plant is like ma a magic circuit oh. the way that it grows specifically yeah. like it's all still organic plant matter it's mm -hmm. just not growing in a normal manner oh, okay i get what mm -hmm, you mean mm -hmm. i thought those lines were on the plant mm -mm. that's okay He's the way scared. the way the the like big big okay I branches and and veins okay, so didn't miss through yeah we're back is head. like is straight lines like magic circuits gotcha yeah everything makes sense now definitely weird oh yeah yeah plants don't grow like that for a reason yeah. Is... Plants are against? <laughs> Unlimited plant works. I mean, look, if I can teach Juniper <laughs> how to do magic, I will be unstoppable. No! That's a thing to consider. Blast. Unlimited no. plant works, and instead of all of the swords, it's just trees. <laughs> no! Viva la plant revolution! Look, we're gonna take this concept of the root all the way. Uh, no! <laughs> Yeah, I think we're all kind there of you go. over there. Yeah. You've, through the magic of two characters nat 20-ing, figured out a thing. Yeah. Wow. You needed an yeah. NPC to nat 20, and then you needed one of you to get a really high roll to understand what it means. But you did it. We, we learned something, something to figure out the next time you visit the botany department. Grandpa yeah. comes back from Germany, and we're just like, welcome back. Uh, we have 500 things for you. Oh, yes, poor old man, because he's so busy. Look, he was trying to retire for a little bit. Dang and instead, he's summoning far. plants and fighting bad guys and fire monsters or helping, and it's all kinds of fun. 
You're like, here's a mushroom. And what, where is Ignatius? Um, you haven't seen him walking around yet. You know that last night he was at the bonfire. Oh, good. Well, he can take care of himself. Just casually walking around town. Don't mind this giant fire monster. He's probably doing better here than he was in England. Uh, the air is much nicer. Yeah. The the plants to burn are much nicer too. <sighs> so yeah, where where are you trying to head now? That's an excellent question. How much time has passed is the real question. Uh, let's update the clock a little bit. Let's say between the the various conversations you had in this one, we'll just advance it to half an hour. Boop. 9.30 a.m. Since we're already Ooh. here, we can go to this door. Are you just going to knock on every door in the neighborhood? Well, what what is th what is this? Is this a shop or is this someone's house? Oh, no, it's a, it's a library. Oh, okay. Ooh. While we're here, we can go visit the library. It's just across the street. That that actually is important, actually. Sure. I just, just, you know. I mean, what else is in town? That is fair. Well, you see. Trees. trees. Exposition, attack. <laughs> yeah, so for where you're at right now, I'm going to zoom out. And I know you can't see everything. But I'll describe roughly what's around on the more visible map. So right where um, you're standing at the moment, directly huge. to your east yeah. is the library. It's not like a huge library, but it does go up several levels and it has books on each level. Um, mm -hmm. This is where Annis discovered her love of reading. Yep. Um, oh. You know, Annis' love of all the books, it started somewhere, it was here. Um, then to the direct north of you is the... Um, the place that I didn't wandered into before where all the healing was going on that sort of doubled as a church. Uh, but right, right now it sort of functions as the place where people are going to get healing from stuff. Like presumably that's died down a little bit since last night, but that's where that is. Um, if you go around the little bridge thing to follow the river, then you'll get to a few more of the residential areas. So like to your immediate left from there, across from the giant boat is a large house that belongs to uh, oh. some of the leadership. I got kicked out. Uh, it uh -huh. says you just connected, yeah. Weird. Um, that's really weird. Cool. Lovely. Um, yeah. We can go to the library. Oh, you connected again, at least. Or I'm trying, anyway. Um, yeah, I... I okay, would... so hang on. There's the library. Me? I was like, how much time... Like, the meeting's going to be around noonish, or...? Uh, you don't know yet, because he's not back yet. That's fair, that's fair. And you know that when he gets back, it's going to be a little while, because a bunch of them were stuck in the saloon for the night and probably need to prep for the meeting <laughs> all of their stuff is currently in a boat illusion okay so there was the library um and then what was the next thing you said sorry after the library like directly to your north here is um what uh, item was referring to is kind of like the church or the temple And then there was the a house that belonged to some of the leadership? Yeah, there's a very large house. Um, it, it gets a bit more residential as you go more east. Okay. So there's a house that belongs to some of the, um, the more senior people in here. It's probably where, like, hosting the visitors who are a, a bit more prestigious. Um, next to that very large house is the one that Nina was in. Um, near the water. Um, across from that is just another residential building, and then you cross the water bridge. And once you cross there, you get to a few more shops. Like the one that you were talking about before that is clothes is to mm -hmm. the southeast. Um, the one immediately north of that is more of a general store. 
which has um, more food, more baked goods. Um, <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> it's essentially the market store. Ooh. And then finally, if you go to the um, northeast from there, the last house that's on this map, because it's kind of abstracted out, is a house that you know belongs to Nora. So it's a bit of a mix. Like there are more buildings than this, but that's what's on this map. And when I looked at the bigger map, I'm like, no one wants to walk around that. This one's already huge. So. So yeah, Annis will explain <laughs> roughly that. Yeah. Yeah. As well if, very... if there are other places that you know make sense to exist here, they do. They're just we'll do those more abstract. Yeah, there's the library. There's the church. Uh, there's the library. There's the church. Um, there's a general store where you can get food and baked goods. There's a little clothing shop. Ooh. Oh, baked goods. I was reacting to both the clothing and the baked goods. All right. Well, we could wander over that way. Yeah. yeah I might come back and check out the library later. I mean, I'm a little bit biased, but I like it. I mean, do they have any good books? I mean, of course. Well, uh, define good. <laughs> um, do they have books on, like, legends and stuff? Uh, of course. Do they have books, like, about magic? Like, what, what books did they have? What kind of library is it? There are different kinds of libraries. That's true. I mean, it's a do little bit Do they have... Everything. Movies? No. So they don't have a copy of the two VHS set three hour long documentary on the Titanic that no, I was telling you about. They don't. <laughs> I, you say that. Oh. I don't think anyone in this village even knows what a VCR is. Well, no, they know, they just probably don't have one. Oh. Well, they don't have cassettes or CDs. One of these days, I will show you this incredibly historically accurate documentary. <laughs> I can't wait. Can There's nudity the in it. Can you hear the enthusiasm in my voice? I can. Uh, uh, excuse me? Awesome. Huh? May yeah, yeah. I think that it's important for you to understand, Annis, that this movie has nudity in it, but was still PG-13. I don't know what that means. It means there were, there were, they, there were titties, Annis. But okay. nobody, there, nobody was nasty on screen. Okay. Uh, Penelope, roll deception. <laughs> Making good use of my charisma. <laughs> Making okay use of In my charisma. Sight. 16. I don't, you're really not selling this movie. I don't. What did you want? A version where they are nasty? I believe. Like, her. No. Oh wow! So it's like. But it's telling the true story of Jack Dawson, who is from America. Kind of reminds me of Derek, actually, in a really weird roundabout way. And if if Derek were an artist, what? in like 1912. Wow. I, I don't understand. I don't remember what year this happened. I clearly didn't pay enough attention. I don't know what you're talking about, but I like it. Derek's awesome. And then he falls in love with this really fancy lady named Rose. And she kind of, she doesn't remind you that much of me, but like, uh, what, and remind like, me of you that much. Oh, I, I think she's going away. Fourth, right? I think you're uh, losing her. So wait, is this a book yeah. you said? Uh, it's a movie. What's a movie? Uh... I'll tell you later. Oh, I'm really interested. Thank you, Penelope. Yeah, I'll sh I will make sure you watch this three hour long, completely historically accurate documentary. I'm so Complete excited. with the soundtrack straight from the era. Ooh, I, I, I do like. Including songs by known, known glamour bard Celine Dion. I don't think I've heard of that bard before. She's very, very famous. She's actually 
uh, she's she American act- too? Uh, she is actually a, um, yeah, she's an American. Whoa. Um, she is actually a half orc. I love half orcs. Yeah. I don't know what the other half is. We have a lot of half orcs in there, and by a lot, I mean there's not a lot of us, but. <laughs> but yeah. uh, wait. She's well very of half orcs in America, or is she doing the disguise? She's thing? very good at disguises. She does like what Vivi does. Yeah. Whoa. She's very good. I can't wait to meet Celine Dion. <laughs> I'll tell Nina <laughs> all about it. Internationally famous half orc. Glamour bard, Celine Dion. <laughs> Penelope, never... my favorite part was when you claimed she was an American. That's right, she's I Canadian. forgot she's Canadian. <laughs> Oops. That That's the most American? egregious thing you said in that deception rule. <laughs> and he got a 12. He believes you. You know, Johnny, some things just need to not be correct. Admittedly, he I'm not sure he knows what Canada is. He, he probably doesn't. Does not. I don't think he knows what America is, to be nope. honest. Nope. He just knows that that is where Derek is from. And Montgomery. And Montgomery. And Johnny. And Johnny. I think we've oh, given yeah. him a very interesting view of the States. You know, you're right. And I don't want best. to correct that. Huh? It's for the best. Yeah. If he sees the real ones, he's just going to be disappointed. It's true. Yeah. It really is true. Oh my God. Hey, Johnny, you see that yeah. river up ahead? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to wait on those two to get further ahead. I don't want to show you the really cool trick. Uh, okay. 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 We're heading in the right direction to go to the, the store, right? The you general are. store? Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. You're like, Annis. Celine Dion is is America or no American? <laughs> she is America. <laughs> and she's a half orc. I don't. The glamour that... bard, half orc, Celine Dion, America. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Wait. I'm so excited. Penelope is going to show me the very historically accurate. She said it was a documentary. <sighs> I'm going to learn what a movie is. It's. Um, okay, it's like, it's like, um, you know what a picture book is, right? Yeah. So it's like one of those, if you, if you go, if it goes really fast and makes a moving picture, and then there's also sound that goes with it. So it's like an illusion? Yeah, sort of. And then generally the, on these really big screens and the, you watch them in the dark and it's and they're very bright and loud and and i don't like them it's like um it's like a play but i do like plays the the actors aren't there and you and and you can watch it over and over so illusion yes gosh they're taking forever to go over that bridge (laughs) <laughs> Admittedly, I, if she didn't start with explaining talkies, I don't think he's going to understand movies. Probably, yeah. Uh... And then, uh, do you, you know what a comic book is, right? Have you ever seen one of those? I, I don't know what that is. Okay, well, I, I will, I'll show you what a comic book is. I, was like, I assume it's a book of some sort since the word is in there. Yeah, it's more pictures than words. Oh, I do like pictures. And And sometimes movies are like those. Oh. Instead of instead of being like re- realistic looking people and places, it's drawn. Ooh. I want to see them. They're in the they're an interesting they're interesting. Okay. Uh I've unlocked it for you if you want to step on it. Mm. We're gonna go over here. All right. Um, all right. All right. I'm gonna make a perception check to see if there's anyone or anything nearby that I need to watch out for. Okay. To make sure they're not like watching. It's me. That's a twenty. That is a twenty. 
Um, <laughs> is anyone for some reason watching? Um, nah. Do I turn around? I was also just talking about in general around the village. Yeah, yeah. I'm just asking them because I know what all the NPCs are doing. <laughs> I don't think there's any reason for Annis to turn around. We're really in this movie talking. But That's true. You're not, neither one of them are paying attention. We'll just say that. And no one else seems to be paying attention right now either. They're all kind of going about their own lives. Okay, okay. Johnny, cover or just just cover me. Or just uh, all right. make sure yeah. Just uh oh shit, I can't open the river. <laughs> oh, you're doing the top one? Yeah, because I figured that was the most out of the way. I'm there enjoying you go. Now this, I can do it. this comedy of errors situation we've got going. Like I wonder how long it's gonna take before Ennis actually finds out about it. Well, we're about to find out. Alright. She puts one foot in on the water just to test it. Okay, so the water is currently flowing um, north to south for yeah. the, this map purpose. And when you put your foot on the water, uh, it starts to pull your foot in the direction of south. Like, is it going on top of the water still? Uh-huh. Or is it going in? No, it's not going in. It's going on top of it, but then it's moving along with it. It's like when you find the moving sidewalks at an airport. Oh, shit. Um, uh... Crap. Oh no, I forgot it needs to be still water. I mean, I could still do it on this water, but like, I'm gonna end up floating down the river. What are you doing, Penelope? Ugh. You remember the trick I told you about? Yeah. I'm trying to do that, but I don't okay. wanna float down the river. Why would you float down the river? Are you jumping uh, in the water? Uh, not quite. She's, she just, she puts one foot in the water and just shows Johnny, like, what, she, like, what is happening to her foot. That's weird. Why are you moving your foot on the water? It's moving. The water is moving. My foot is on top of the water. She leans over and she reaches down at the water and her hand goes into it and she looks over at Penelope's foot which is dry huh uh huh yeah so are you lighter than water now it's like I can go on top of the water are you are you telling me that you can Jesus you know what? Vivi asked me the exact same thing. And I guess. Is this part of your thing? I think so, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a, that's a much better deal than having to gamble. Yeah. Although I, oh God, I still need to talk to her at some point. Because Vivi seems to think I've given something up. There's and a... I don't know what it would be. Because I did, didn't... They're, they're tricky. I mean, she's a, she's a fairy lady, right? Yeah. But she's never tricked me before. Well, do you have to know what you're giving up if you make a deal? I mean, I'd like to know. Yeah, really. I mean... I don't know, there's a lot of stories about people making deals and not understanding what exactly they're doing when they make the deal. Yeah, but... and I need to, I, I just, I want to understand exactly what it is I'm getting into. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely. You should definitely figure that out. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to think, like, oh, you, can't go you didn't need anything, did you? No. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, I guess you'll have to ask her and... Yeah. They, they, if she's already tricked you, then she'll probably tell you because they tend to be braggy about that. Yeah. And she doesn't really gain anything from you not knowing anymore unless there's something else on the hook, so... That's It'd true. It'd be worth asking. Yeah. I just uh, need to find somewhere a little more private than this and a little more still water than yeah, this. Yeah, definitely. That makes sense. Yeah, don't... Don't get washed away, Penelope. I've, I've 
fallen into this water and been <laughs> washed away in it. I don't recommend it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, actually, I might. The next time I talk to her, do you want to come with me? I mean, you've already talked to her the one time. Yeah, I don't mind. I'll be happy to be there. Yeah. And, like, who knows? Maybe she's... I, I know it's only been, like, a couple of days, but maybe she has... I... I still want to get you out of your thing with your person. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a big focus of my energy for a bit, too. Yeah. And... Maybe after we wrap this up, I can find something for that lawyer guy. Yeah. And, like, I don't know what your plans are after we get you out of that, but, like, I don't know. I'm, like, would you still want to be, would you still want to be a warlock? Or, like? I, honestly, I feel like if I'm going to stick with you, and I'd like to, I need to be able to defend myself, so. Got to learn something. Oh, yeah. But you, you don't mind me continuing to be a groupie, right? <laughs> of course not. Well, then I'll find something that I can do that'll help keep us both safe. I do like okay. flying, so I'd like to not lose that if I could avoid it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is pretty cool. Um, we can figure it out together. All right, yeah. Sweet. All right. Let's go catch up with the two. Let's let's go catch up with those two. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to hearing when she has to explain the whole diamond thing at the end. <laughs> oh, God. He'd be so mad about that, actually. Holy shit, right. because that's a revive. Catching up. Catching up. <laughs> she just dropped a di like You hear him. She dropped a diamond into the water? Anis hasn't seen the movie. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I take that back. When you go to explain it to him, he'll start yelling that. Someone who understands the value of, you know, revivify. God! Oh Which my is gosh! Aiden! Aiden! Yeah! Guess what? What? There's another part of that documentary that I think you'd find interesting. Yeah, what about it? So there's a story about an old lady in it, too. Ooh. Um, And, uh... And uh, she has this really cool diamond necklace. It's huge. It's a big, like, chunky diamond. It's, like, the size of my face. Maybe a little bit smaller it's than that. Huge. It's a huge diamond. And it's been missing for, like, 80-something years. Why is it missing? Um, because it went missing. I don't, I don't want to spoil it. Oh. Uh, but it went missing. And they still haven't found it? Well, here's the thing. The old lady knows where it is. Well, then it's not missing. Oh, but no, it is still missing. You know why? Why? She dropped it in the ocean. She what? She purposefully dropped it in the ocean. She what? Do you not understand how much okay, that's worth? Okay, I'm running out of catching up with that is. No! Where is this ocean, Penelope? I need to go. Hey, Anna, where's this clothing shop? Is it in America? She'll be just straight ahead. Okay, cool. Derek. Derek's not here. Derek, hear <laughs> my cry. Derek's probably still asleep. I need to know where this ocean is. <laughs> There's a diamond. I don't know what I've done, but this is really funny. <laughs> You're really not selling this movie. No. I don't like movies to begin with. And it's the only people that can revive. A diamond the size of a fist. It's probably not actually real. You think so? I mean, she does keep calling it a documentary, but <laughs> the Titanic sank a long time ago. Internally, Penelope's just like Vivi has trained me well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if we're going in the right direction for this clothing shop. <laughs> I've never been we, here. We kind of overtook her, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> She'll just be straight. At, it's like straight ahead from where I am, right? Okay. Uh, I'm not asking. I'll, but I'll show you on the map by dragging uh, Johnny to it. It's all the way down here. Oh my oh, god. Okay, okay. Another river. 
like you're kind of in the residential area when you're in the middle. So just running by you know, like about for your time. reference, because Johnny is now your map thing. This thing right here is the shop. Oh, the and then the down gym. here is clothing. Yeah. So here's the here's the general store with the baked Ooh. goods and, and cool. whatnot. Well, I want to go check out the clothes first. Oh, well, that's just a little further ahead. Okay. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, uh... Gosh, there's a lot of things. This is a big village, Annis. I know. I'm doing a lot of shouting. I'm <sighs> myself. Like you could fit Do these four two... of the halfling are, communities are in this freaking town. Do these two say anything when the centaur goes by? Uh, they're still gossipy every time the centaur goes by. Cool. <sighs> Hello again. Penelope just like walks up and just like leans on Johnny like, oh my god. Too much walking. Too much running. Too much legs. Too much jumping. I haven't attuned to those yet. No. I don't know how we beat Aiden here. He was very He's a horse. This village really isn't made for um short people uh, i noticed I'm you sorry. could fit like four four of our little halfling villages in this one part of your village i mean this is the biggest settlement in Sherwood. it's huge as far as i know this is like the biggest well as far as i know this is the biggest elf and half elf and adjacent community Oh, goodness. There might be others. You're sure that there are others, but you've never heard of one this big before. It's England's well, best kept secret. Just the simple I... fact that there are elves visiting from other places tells you that there are other ones. But yeah, this is definitely the biggest mm -hmm. one you're aware of. I mean, at some point, if I can ever track them down, at, like whenever you guys are with me, I need to show you the halfling group that travels around. Well, I mean... It's not a very big group. I don't know. Well, I mean, it, maybe it's big. Height-wise, not so big. But... I mean, who knows what... Who knows what, what direction things are going in after this meeting. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going into this shop. Ugh. My legs are tired. <laughs> You've had a long walk. Do I see anyone I recognize? Um, so when you step in, you don't actually see anyone at the moment. It seems like whoever was in here has stepped out. Uh, but the do door's I know, not locked. Do I know who usually runs the place? Uh, yes. Uh, this is normally run by a, a very uh, nice uh, half-elven man who is camp as hell. Excellent. What? What's his name? Uh, this one. Let me get his list. Hello. Where are you? You would really think no. I would pull these things up during the entire time we said we were walking over here, but I didn't. <laughs> Especially since we declared loudly we were going here. Yeah, I know. You'd think I would have done that, but I was having fun with the Titanic thing too. So. Oh boy. Here we are. Gonna be such a, a letdown when Annis just refuses to enjoy herself. <laughs> <laughs> well, or alternatively gets totally sucked into the love story and <laughs> forgets that it's supposed to be a documentary. No, that would be disappointing all around. Um, <laughs> all right, well. Yeah, I'm gonna type his name in here for you. Penelope is going to browse the clothing racks or whatever that is that are available. See if there's anything even remotely halfling sized. Oh, the children's section is over there. <laughs> wow. Penelope is just going to be like, I'm sorry. Best friend status revoked. I'm sorry. Ooh. Nope. Everyone around here is like long leg McElf. So <laughs> that's not my problem. I'm sure that if we went 
to the Halfling nope. community. Not talking to you. And there was a, a clothing store and I wanted something. You'd be like, oh. We don't have clothing stores because we make all our own shit. You'd be like, oh, the freakishly tall people section is over there. She's just not talking. She's gonna go. Right, so there's the name of the dude who is here. Um, it's Theden yeah, Sight Sower. I love that. Um, um, hello, Mr. Theden. Uh, give me a hello. history check, Annis. Okay, cool. He's hiding in the wall. Uh, Camouflage. History, 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 history. You know what? History. I want to look around. Can I perception to see if he's hiding in the clothes or like as a mannequin? If you're doing that, it's an investigation check. But all right, I'm gonna still do it. That's a nine. Investigation. Also a nine. <laughs> uh, I didn't. You don't find anyone hiding. Um, Annis, you only had to hit a five to remember that. Um, uh, Theden was among the people that was in the bar when it got teleported away. Oh no! <laughs> Never mind. I, that's that's what I thought. I retract. I retract my um my call. It took around. a second to remember it. You had a lot going on at the time when you realized you were suddenly in Germany. Oh, you know, I think Mister Theden is in Germany. Oh shit! Well, so I guess if we find wait, anything, I'm not talking to you. If we find anything that you want, we'll just have to wait for him to come back and then buy it. I'm rolling investigation to find any cute clothes. And I suppose if you wanted to look around for Eighteen. little booties. <gasps> yes. Although, like I said, I'll bet you anything that mom has yeah. some from when me other siblings were younger. I'm going to ask your mom. Yeah. I'm investigating for any cute clothes that would fit. Well, basically anybody in the party, but. Right. Specifically cute clothes, like, um, cute in the sense of, like, you know, fashion cute, or cute in the sense of, like, would go for the tiny plant child? Uh, cute in the sense of fashion cute. Okay. Uh, yeah, you actually, uh, you can find, um, a, a number of things that, in that similar elven fashion sense of, Form fitting for somewhat lithe bodies <laughs> uh, might be a bit challenging to say put on a dwarf, but yeah. there there are a lot of very flattering um, trim things here, and also you've got an assortment of like more jewelry, roby type things too. Um, you're definitely getting a sense that uh, elves, as an aesthetic, like long continuous pieces that you know. It's sort of like a twist on like sundress style fashion, like one large continuous thing, but with very clever folding and stitching and whatnot, so that you still get um, complexity to it. But it always looks like it's made of one or two materials at most. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, there's lots of cute things that you can work with. Hmm. Is there anything Penelope sized? Uh, yeah, there's some Penelope sized stuff here. It is admittedly aiming a little bit younger due to elven heights, but there are definitely stuff that you could pull off. This is more mature looking than the stuff you found in Ilya's closet. <laughs> that whole thing of elves, you know, spending a longer time at different stages of development kind of works yeah. in your favor here because mentally they're older. They're just smaller. All right. So, well, yeah. she's going to pick out... Pick out an outfit, and then she wants to pick out. Is there any? Okay, specifically, is there anything that would work for Johnny or Annis? In the in oh. the cute and class, yeah, totally. The, their heights are way more common among the elves. Um, there's plenty that you can work with there. Um, I will let you for the fun of it, since you enjoy describing what they're wearing, and also there's a non zero chance that you would be. The one stuck drawing it. If anything gets drawn, I'll let you dictate what you find. I don't want to just spit out words that you then have to somehow work with later if you decide to do it. Okay. Um, even though she claims that she is not talking to Annis right now, she goes over to Annis and holds up an outfit 
that she thinks would look cute on Annis. Oh, that's cute. You should try it on. All right. This is just just try it on. Can I assume they're changing areas? Yeah. So, um, in the in the map where if you drag over to, I'll move Johnny again because she's just the go-to map NPC right now. Um, <laughs> in this room, you see a whole bunch of boxes and pallets, but those are actually changing rooms. Okay. I just wasn't going to edit this map for that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. this floor has a number of changing rooms, and then you can go up the little staircase for an upper area that has more display space. But the upper area mirrors this one in layout. You can kind of get the idea of how it works. There's a lot of clothing in here. There's also a lot of space set aside for bolts of fabric of a, a wide variety of, you know, very bright, vibrant colors. Um... A combination of vibrant colors and earth tones so like sort of the two extremes of it but um you can tell that a lot of what they do here is probably custom and that the stuff that you're finding hanging up is maybe more meant as examples but that doesn't necessarily mean that they can't part with them um so the thing that i found for anis is gonna be uh, i don't know where did i save it ah! oh no I'm going to scream this thing and reorganize itself. Um, so it's like a little green and brown sundress that has some like teal colored lace along the hem. And then it has little buttons that are little flowers going down the front. Aww. Um and then it doesn't have sleeves it is a sleeveless sundress specifically without sleeves um <laughs> it's for the best i wonder why you would need to specify something like that um but yeah it's, it's super cute and yeah and she's just like hands it over to Anis and it's like you should try it on i think it would look cute on you um and then for johnny she grabbed, where did I put that one? Ah. She looks at Johnny and she's like, dress or pants or shorts? Oh, uh, choices, okay. Um... Normally, I like pants, but if you think a dress would look better, then I would be willing to try it. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, no. Why is this not loading? Damn it. It says you disconnected from the game, so maybe the internet is mad at you. Well, oh, God. Why? It's weird because it's not doing that for me. Yeah, either. no. It's only disconnecting me. That's not nice. How rude. You've angered Super at us. Super rude. Uh, we revoked the friendship. <laughs> Annis will Annis will go and change. Uh, uh, um, I'm so mad at this freaking thing. Um, so uh, the dress she picks out for Johnny has like. It's also sleeveless, but like the top of it is like a really pretty, like it's in that same color as her t-shirt, but then the, the waistband of it is like a, like a really like soft brown color. And then the skirt of it is kind of like a patchwork situation, but it has like an asymmetrical hem kind of kind like. I don't know how the best way to describe it, but it has like an asymmetrical me bleh, asymmetrical hem. Okay. Ugh, words are hard. Words are hard. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now I've got to find Sherwood again. 
because I also got kicked out of Sherwood. Oh, no. <laughs> you want me to share it with you again, or if you got it? I got it. Okay. I just got it. Ugh. <laughs> but yeah, so that is that is what she picks for each one. And she just looks at Ida and she's like, I'm really sorry. I don't know what to get you yet. That's okay. You're going to have a hard time finding things for Aiden here. Yeah. You might um, have to commission have... that. How do you feel about hair bows? Um, I mean, I've got my hair sashes that match my cleric wear. Damn. Okay. A juniper could use a bow. <sighs> um, she just kind of looks over for like the closest bow she can find and then hands it to Aiden. Does it match his colors? Um, yes. <gasps> Penelope, not this is amazing. But she's not going to tell you that. <laughs> You're a fashion genius. Yep. <sighs> yep. I hope it works really well for Juniper. I just got it. Wait, I thought we were going to go to your mom's place. Oh, we are. Well, okay. Admittedly, I don't think we can take this stuff until that guy gets back anyway. Yeah, that's, um, that's also fair, because he had a guy. I'm going to leave some gold on the counter and a note. I suppose that'll work. While we're here, Nanus is just going to look around for something for Derek. Okay. Yeah, just, like, furiously scribbling a note to leave um, on the counter. Uh, I feel like I, I, I kind of want to wait till he's back. I don't, I don't feel really good about taking things up versus being there. The hooves are a different story because you know I kind of found them on the ground. Yeah. And I, well, I'd say Anna's found something for Derek. <laughs> oh lord. Yep. <laughs> she knows um, what size. Is. She sure does. <laughs> I didn't even realize the Don't double entendre until I said it. It's great. Uh, um. Yeah. Uh, you find. Uh, I'll give you a choice because you nat twenty that. Um, you find. A very regal and formal elven um, outfit that would absolutely fit him. That would be appropriate for an event such as this. <laughs> like the okay. elven equivalent of a black tie suit type deal. Ooh. So you find that. Okay. Was you there also an find <laughs> um, <laughs> something that would not at all be appropriate for this event. But... <gasps> would probably blow his mind because this is a combination of um, robes and straps and nonsense that goes full Nomura. I was and just that. Looks like it was almost done as a dare to see how busy someone could make an outfit that someone could still move around in. And this is just going to like grab both and walk over to where Penelope is writing the note and just add a pile of gold coins. <laughs> and she's just like, if you have any questions, we are at the Greenleaf residence. Okay. And then Annis <laughs> will, will add in her handwriting, sorry, we missed you. We'll be back later, Annis. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the booties back just cause he's, you know, or the ribbon back because he's not there. And that makes him a little uncomfortable. Plus, he's going to ask the mama for some ribbons and booties. Like, if, if he comes back, he'll, he'll be like, yeah. Wee! All right, you All right. have acquired a lot of clothing. Let's head out! Okay. So we're gonna head out. Um, I'm you know, I'm pretty good for now. So you don't want to go get baked goods? Yeah, nah, I'm not really feeling it. Um. Hmm. So, um, stepping outside. Uh, there actually is someone standing nearby just at the entrance to this area and by extension the entrance to the whole place. Oh. And I'm going to drag them onto the map now. 
Oh. So that you can see who it is. Who they be. Who it be. Uh, did we change back into our original clothes, or are we wearing what we were, what we tried on in there? Melody didn't find anything she wanted. Okay. Uh, yeah, Anna. Um, so that's up to you. Anna's changed back. And yeah, stuff. Johnny is not wearing the the fancy outfit until the yes. time is right. Juniper is in his sash, nice and tucked away. Yeah, she'll just stuff all the clothes into the bag of holding then. <gasps> Hot dead apostle wife! I mean, what? Oh, hey. <laughs> Who's that? <coughs> I just told you! It's my oh, hot dead apostle wife. Is that out in character? Of course no, not. No, that's not God, no, that is not out loud in character. Okay. Like, what? <laughs> no, that was me, Zip, saying, ah. Okay. Well, is... <laughs> well, now I know what she looks like. Hey, yo. Oh. Oh, Lucretia! There you go. Oh, shit, yeah. I'm trying to follow. remember if Annis knew that Lucretia was going to be here. I think only Melody knew. I don't remember. I think it was told to her by like the guy. No, yeah, yeah, Fidon told her. Okay, so she, yeah, she Fidon knows. mentioned it. So you know, you knew she was coming. Uh, she is not having an entourage of any sort. She's just sort of walking in on her own. She's gonna run up. What good timing! Hello. Oh, that was much faster than I expected. Hello. We went clothes shopping. I can tell. <laughs> Looking at all of the giant clothes that you're carrying around. <laughs> stuffing, mid-stuffing into bag of holding. Honestly, I thought I would have to go looking for you, but it seems you're all presently here. Yeah. It's uh, just good timing is what that is. Mr. Fidat said you were going to be here. I am. I was actually looking to... Uh, she turns over to Annis. Well, I believe he's your grandfather, but I have... Some business to discuss with him, and by extension with you. Oh, you mean Alda. Okay, for a second I thought you were implying that Fidon was my grandfather. <laughs> that would be different. Very. Um, I would be a if, he, uh, if he's still at the barracks, <laughs> I've got no reason to think he wouldn't be. Um, I can guide you over there. What? To Alder? Mm -hmm. Sorry, the whole conversation. No, it's all good. Uh, um... Grandpap's not here right now, but he should be getting back from Germany soon. Oh, he's a bit out, isn't he? A lot of things happened yesterday. It's all yeah. fucking Einosh's fault. Of yeah, we've got to talk to you. Yeah, that's actually related to why I'm here. Once again, I'm yeah. doing cleanup duty for his Whoa. impulsive mistakes. You know Einosh? Unfortunately, co-worker situation. Sorry, um, Aiden, this is Lucretia. Lucretia, this is Aiden. Hello, it's nice to meet you. And um, then, you remember Johnny from the party, right? Yes, I believe you both had an amazing show that resulted in the fourth flying in. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, It all worked out. Yeah, yeah. It's not like they caused the flawed fall. Yeah. Kaden. No, that was indirectly my fault. Oh. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, co-worker situation is kind of a good way to put it. Co she, 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 she knows. She knows that little bitch. I know. She... He's um, a bit of a also... recurring problem. Yeah. So, so you know that he currently has taken over an innocent boy's body? That, unfortunately, would track. He, he body jumps more than most. It's kind of surprising um, that he can't seem he... to hang on to one for more than a few years. Yeah, that that's concerning. Um, Do you know how to get him out of there without... Coming? We should probably not talk about this out loud in the middle of the road in Sherwood Forest. I would agree. In the main entrance. Um, so, uh, Fidon's at the barracks if you need to see him. Otherwise, we can go wait for Grandpap or at least get somewhere less public. I would like to go somewhere less public then because I, I would like to talk yeah. about this. Well, 
I'm not native to this place, so I will let you decide where the best place for that would be. Penelope's just gonna scoot closer and, like, gesture to Lucretia to, like, lean down. She does. And she's gonna whisper, like, I also have some other things I need to talk to you about related to some other co-workers of yours. Oh, good. I'm sure they're yeah. all doing their part. You can actually see her sort of pinch the bridge of her nose at the mention of other co-workers. Yeah. Uh, well, sounds like we have some conversations to have, but it's all fitting. I, the things that I'm here to speak with her grandfather about affect a lot of you as well, based on what we mentioned back in Paris, so... Yeah, I had a feeling. It's but usually how it goes. We can at least get somewhere a little more private. Um, we're not too far away from... My secret base, we're not too far away from um, my family's house. There, there's an empty shop right here. There is an empty shop right there. All right, let's go inside this nice empty shop. <laughs> there's an empty shop right here. <laughs> How convenient. I'm sure the owner won't mind. You know. We just put a bunch of money on the table, so. I'm sure, yeah, it'll be fine. It's kind of like a rental. I was just thinking yeah. about it. Um, yeah, we definitely just rented this place. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you have to be invited in, but yes, you can come in. Oh, uh, I don't. I just wanted to make sure that there was room. There we go. All right. <laughs> well, one of your goals just got easier. Yeah, that's fair. I was gonna say, yeah, like, I'm looking at my checklist and going, yep, yep, there's, like, three things I can take care of right the yeah. fuck now. <laughs> uh, given she's gonna be a bit of a, a plot dump and it's 10.30-something, this is probably the good palsy time. But hey, something to look forward to. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Anger, rage. Yeah. You haven't seen her in, like... Like, in-game, it's been, like, a week. That's, yeah. Yeah, in-game, it's been a week. In real life, it's been, like, eight months or something longer yeah, i don't know that's a new art for her right yeah that, remember yeah her. okay well she got yeah the, like, she used to be a face claim from canaan which no one remembers um but i went with because it's the same art style and it's technically nasu but now she's got an actual um yeah, she, she had that like right at the end of the lupon party okay, okay. yeah and now she has a clock tower background because we have a clock tower background Ooh. Yeah. Because she's technically a clock tower noble. Technically. So that's fine. She's a lot of things. <laughs> and I guess I didn't get to meet some of those things now. Yeah. <laughs> that's all right. He's got questions for you. He's finally in front of the person he talks to. She knows so. a lot. Excellent. She knows the other old man too, then. Probably. She, yeah. she very well might. <gasps> yeah. She can help with his homework. Uh, maybe. She at least knows old languages. She can. Will she? Maybe. Maybe. There's no telling. We will find out. There's all kinds of possibilities here. <laughs> He'll at least ask for help. <laughs> like I mean, that's him. fair. You look very smart and knowledgeable. <laughs> she has good stats. So. I know this word means horse. And then after <laughs> nothing. That's fun to look forward to. Oh. <sighs> At any rate, that's where we're going to wrap for this time. So we will. Are we doing next week? or We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll discuss that after. We're not screaming. We, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll sort that out. So, okay, everybody. This was fun times. We caught up. We did the shopping episode. We got there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the unintentional shopping episode. I was like, I'll just stop by the one store and I'll be done. No. Wired. I mean, that's why I don't plan on advancing plot too often. It's fine. We're having fun. You're exploring a map that I put together like months ago. So this is great. Yeah. <laughs> I just appreciate the fact that you got to also teleport away a bunch of the NPCs to make the map work, and that's just working out for the story. So, yeah. hey, nice empty room now. A huge view. Yeah. 
Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to pop the end button on the stream button. So. Yeah. Fare thee well, Internet. Bye -bye. Good night, Internet.